Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Let me double check. Is my audio okay? One second. Do -do -do. Okay, cool. <laughs> my audio was being weird last night. I thought it was being weird again. Welcome guys to the stream. Hope you guys are having a good day. Having a good day. And yes, it actually, well, it is kind of my birthday. It was my birthday on Wednesday, but uh, it is actually kind of my birthday today. Thank you guys for once. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all sent me so much like fan art and stuff too. I got like a bunch of it to showcase just cause I was like, y'all are, so, are so nice. Like uh, it really helped cheer me up, you know, since I, you know, I've been kind of sad girl hours, <laughs> sad girl hours recently. Oh man. Oh, thank you so much, David. You always stood by me when I was alone. You're always there for me in my tough times. I assure you that I'll always be there for you. Happy birthday, sis. Love you and have a great stream. Oh, thank you so much, David. Yeah, I know. You're an awesome friend, David. I really appreciate you so much. And of course, I'll always be there for you too, you know, in the past and the future. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. Also, <laughs> thanks guys. <laughs> thanks guys for the congratulations on my wedding even though I'm not married I did not I did not marry a bitch okay well, let's go ahead and start looking at uh, some of this fan art this is by Lolo JPG like there's seriously so much to go through y'all are so so nice and then Kev and his sister made some fan art of me I was like this one looks really cute too the little star eyes then there was this one I think this is me and uh, Rose from uh, Despair Time oh wait actually mm. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I said say. That, that was it. Say. Say happy birthday. That was it. Thank you, Clown Klutz, for that one. And then there was a bunch on the subreddit, too. This one was by I, I, I'ma punch you. <laughs> I just now saw that their username was that one. I was like, oh, it looks so cute. We with a little cake. And then, uh... <laughs> We're just going to cover up that part in, in the soccer ball. But everything else looks really good. <laughs> Thank you. I like cheese too. I eat it. Appreciate you. Then ugh, people finally shipping me with Reco on my on my birthday. <laughs> finally, people decide to be nice to me and not and not ship me with the Mitch. Well, a lot of people still did that. But, you know, there was people who didn't. There was people who respected me. They respected my respected my my desires my my needs <laughs> this was by Rhea NB uh me and Reco yay I was like you guys are actually nice to me <laughs> the one day out of the year y'all are nice to me <laughs> and actually shipped me with my faves <laughs> then me with Yuruko man I'm looking dapper damn dude I've been working out holy I told y'all guys I'm tall look at me look how much taller I am than Yuruko wow what a what a serve what a serve moment right there i told you guys i was like six feet tall and nobody believed me this one's by blue elephant oh yeah this edit was by rainbow star 920 this uh art was by blue elephant this one was really good too i got a little uh all the little uh uh like i guess like they kind of look like plushies i guess they just look so serious <laughs> oh man and this one's by i like owls like oh it looks so cute Another one by Level Community 6256. Like, seriously, there were so, so freaking many of them. Also, this one doesn't have to do with the birthday. I just <laughs> was dying when I saw it. Eat your great greens, weeby. <laughs> we'll go back to doing Undertale soon, I promise. I think I just need a little, a little, a little chill, a little chill break from it in the meantime while I'm kind of recovering. And then, yeah, this was a bunch of the ones from the, uh, from the Discord too, because I don't know if they actually posted them on like Twitter or Reddit. Yeah, it's like Bree, Plushy, Shion, uh, Woody, G Jiffy, Jiffy, <laughs> Kuru, I like owls. Oh yeah, Kuru made that awesome uh, one of me as like the, crap, what were they? What was she called again in Undertale? The little, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> those guys, or those girls, they were so cute. And then Alita, Zephy, Plushy, oh yeah, uh, Zephy was the one who put this together too. And then Adrian, I was like, oh, they all look so good. But I just want to thank y'all for uh, all the fan art because it means so much. It was like so sweet. How old are you again? 57? Ugh, I wish. I'm like 65. <laughs> what was the what was the last number we left out? We left on. Thank you, Brandon. Hi, Mebe. <laughs> I mean, Weeby. <laughs> have a good have a good stream. It's he. It's on my birthday, no less, Brandon. You're really gonna disrespect me <laughs> like this on my birthday. Okay, I'm gonna put up. Uh, let me. I'm gonna put up the the Davas for a second while I get blowback set up so just appreciate them in the meantime i haven't gotten a new uh, meme <laughs> meme image to put up they they do look good though they are they are slaying in the good way so 
you know. It's still a moment. It's still a moment. Okay, let me get this ready. I guess we're gonna get to um, the second victim, I think, today. That seems about right um, in terms of where we're kind of at. Do, 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 do. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, turn that off. <laughs> oh, man, it's a game within a game. Yeah, I think we start out with just some like free time events and then we move on to more story. We have like the, um, whatchamacallit, um, the competition, the sports competition things today. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see how that goes. I'm kind of curious. Hopefully, uh, well, uh, I don't know. It's fine. We'll see how long that is and how it goes. Who do we get paired up with again? I can't remember. Oh, I think we got paired up with, um, the pink haired girl. <laughs> Well, I can't think of her name. I'm like, Clover. <laughs> I'm like, no, shit, that's her voice actress. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. You, you know what I'm talking about. The girl, the girl. <laughs> the pink hair. I think we have to hang out with Chinami, though. I think everybody else is um, not um, not uh, translated. Where was she at? She was like, in the library before. Do you? The Tonganrapa tournament art. <laughs> Yukari, okay, that's what I thought it was, okay? I thought for sure it was Yukari. I just, you know, damn it. I kind of want to hang out with him. Man, he's just such a little douche. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> I feel like he's trying to, you know, like, sell me a course. Tell me about how he thinks Andrew Tate's, like, innocent or some shit. Okay, uh, Chinami, where are you? Oh no, this is um, can I hang out with her though? I kind of want to hang out with her. Damn it, why? Why are you all speaking Korean all of a sudden? Damn it. Uh, I love Karu. She's the best girl. She is. She's the best girl this round, which also kind of makes me feel like she's going to die, but we'll see. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Drekken. Happy birthday, for real. Our birthdays are actually really close, lol. Oh, cool. When's your birthday, actually? I'm kind of curious now. That's neat. Girl, where are you, girl? One day we'll find her. Oh yeah, there she is with the little cat ear version. Okay, let me save. I probably have something she'll like. Probably. <laughs> and whatever. Okay. <laughs> hang with her despite everything. Just, <laughs> just hang out with her while she's speaking Korean the whole time. I'll just get like a, oh wait. I'll do the Google Translate thing that I did for my distrust video where I can take a picture and I'll like translate. <laughs> And then we'll figure out, we'll just, we'll analyze what she's saying. Uh, hey, Chinami. Hey, Kazi, whatever. What's the matter? What should I do? Should I spend time with Chinami? Spend time together. <laughs> what? You and me? Should I put this as a free volunteer work? Are you going to talk about Mickey Mouse the whole time again to totally ignore my trauma dump? Probably. I spent time with Chinami today. Oh, thank you. Nizumi VA. Can't stick around, but here's a little something for your birthday. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you're uh, enjoying Danganronpa and other. I saw, like, I think recently, or the last stream I saw, you were on, like, chapter two. The game's so good. I'm excited that you're checking it out. But thank you so much for stopping by. I think I got a little closer to Chinami. Should give her a gift. Okay, sure. <laughs> Yo, Zaku! <laughs> oh, I miss you so fucking much. Okay, um, what was she? She liked the cosplay stuff. She's probably like a hair clone. I can never speak. Hair clone. <laughs> hair clone. Okay, let's give you a hair comb. <laughs> what? You must have put a lot of thought into this. Don't freaking expect it though. Whoa, Chinami must have been very pleased. Hot dog? Hot dog? <laughs> we gotta actually give her a hot. Are you just singing? God damn it, Clee. You're just singing this stupid Mickey Mouse song. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. It's a brand new day. Watch. Are you seriously singing the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse song again, Weeby? <laughs> Let me trauma dump for two seconds. You don't feel you don't feel in a very good mood today. What's wrong? Not really. Nothing happened. I'm just sick of the fucking Mickey Mouse shit. <laughs> then why do you have the little oh yes, they're cat ears. Come on. Come on. Come on, Janabi. Turn those turn those cat ears into into Mickey ears. You know you want to. Mouse ears. 
Oh man, thank you so much. Dusk Parta, hey Weeby. Wow, it's such a generous donation, appreciate you. Now it's happy late birthday. I hope everything is going well and you're doing something awesome for the weekend. I definitely wish they continued with this game, but I love what we have. Have a great day, Weeby. Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm going to a concert this weekend, so I'm pretty, pretty excited. Hanging out with my cousin too. I've been able to spend a lot of time with family this week, so it's been really fun, but appreciate you. And yeah, I know, I wish they continued this game too, but it is, God, what we have is so good, so. You know, gotta appreciate, appreciate what you have. Thank you, typical fangirl. It'll be a late B-Day gift, but be more than happy to write a maybe birthday short story if you want. I'm sure you'd love it. You trust me, right? Man, now I'm gonna look at Meebie and be like, is that Mitch and Weeby or Mickey and Weeby? <laughs> I like how I like how both of both both the ones I hate the most. They both start with M. Oh man, I'm sure you're talking about Mitch though. Oh, that'd be so cute though. I'll definitely I'll definitely take a look at that if you post like in the Reddit or something. Oh, thank you so much, Yuki Tiff. Happy birthday, to my favorite YouTuber. Oh, you're so sweet. I appreciate you. Man, you guys are so generous today too. Aw, love you guys. Thanks so much. At uh, you say that, but obviously you don't feel good. Maybe it's the low pressure. I thought she would say something mean to me the moment she saw me. Hey, Kazuki. Huh? That guy, is he okay? I don't know, who do you mean? It's seriously that idiot. The guy, uh, oh, she's gonna talk about the Florida man. The guy who got hurt instead of me, Tato. They are pretty cute together. Uh, Tato? Yeah, that idiot. You're calling me an idiot? The person who saved you? He's a, he's an idiot. Anyways, that guy, he keeps saying he's fine, but I don't know what he's thinking inside, so I'm a little anxious. I think I should take him on a date. That'll make him feel better. Uh, just saying in advance, this isn't because of personal feelings, <laughs> okay? I mean, <laughs> she's such a tsundere. Yeah, any remaining problems could be the motive for a case, so I just want to solve it for sure. Yeah, that's, that's all. She keeps talking in circles, but in conclusion, she's worried because she doesn't know if Tato thinks badly of her, right? Wouldn't that worry be fine? And why do you believe that's really fine? Uh huh. She yeah, has like bring him some corn or something. He'd love that. He'd love that shit. Uh huh. What the heck? I just have that feeling. I don't think Tato is a type to hide his emotions, so I'm saying it's fine as it is. He looks very. <laughs> he looks very simple. My. He's from Florida. Come on. <laughs> Give him a break. <laughs> He doesn't look simple. He's just stupid. That's kind of what I meant. Anyways, that's what I thought. Well, that's good. He's not very smart. That's right. <laughs> what? Were you? Um, how dare you say that about my little strunkly, my little boo bear? It, it's nothing. Don't worry. Shami starts to give me a deadly stare, but her expression has brightened up. It was a little uncomfortable, but at least Shami looked more lively than that. Whatever. I'll give him a haircut later. He needs to do something about that outfit. No, I like his little Hawaiian farm shirt or whatever is going on with it. It's for fashion purposes, that's all. I'm not going to be dating. I'm not going to be caught dead dating a Florida man. You hear me? Well, that's definitely not the best opinion, but okay. It's not about being a good person. It's about having a really bad fashion sense in a loha shirt and a scarf. <laughs> Come on, it's it's comfortable, you know? It's like, if it's hot outside, I already got the loha shirt on. If it's cold, I got the scarf. Come on, it's perfect. I understand the meaning of that. Anyways, he's insensitive in many ways. Even if I tell him properly, I don't think he would ever understand. If it is, if it is that hard to explain, wouldn't he understand? I can't deny there's a dull side of him, but you talk like it's someone else, but you're also in that same spot too, you know? <laughs> well, still after talking all of this, I feel refreshed. Yeah, thank you, I guess. Don't, uh, did you say something? I didn't say anything, nothing, bye. <laughs> Just so, so soon, soon. And then Shinami left. It seems we talked about a bunch of silly topics, but sometimes it's not bad to have these conversations. Chinami Asami's information has been updated in the Electronic Student Handbook. I hate you guys. I got that stupid hot dog song stuck in my head now. After finishing my morning investigation, I went back to my room. But there's still time left. I shouldn't stay in my room. I'll go investigate some more. Oh, okay, cool. More free time? Dang. It's a good thing I'm rich and I got a... <laughs> I got a crap ton of uh, mono toys. Anybody else? Or mono coin? Amount of coins that I was able to buy stuff with. No one else, just Chinami. 
<laughs> Just Shinami. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. I hate that y'all unlock that memory for me. I hate it so much. It's a brand new day. What you waiting for? Knowing Disney too, I'm gonna get like a copyright claim just for singing it. Be like, um, actually, that's a cover song, Weeby. Of a Mickey Mouse's smash hit song, Hot Dog, Hot Dog, Hot Diggity Dog. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have to take all your revenue from the stream, sorry. Mickey's really in dire need of some money, okay, sweaty? So, yeah. Oh, hey, there's Tato. Man, I kind of want to, I mean, I like Shinami, but you know, it's like, it'd be kind of nice to hang out with somebody else. Kazuki's always like, you know, you could let me sleep. <laughs> you could let me sleep, Weepy. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. That's a good one, Kazuki. Never, never, you hear me. Sorry, didn't sleep and neither will you. Um, oh wait, I meant to go in here. I don't think she'd be in here, but you know, whatever. Man, I don't need, I don't need mono coins, but I kind of feel like, I still want to click on the <laughs> curse you stars. Like, uh, how can I not, how can I not click on it when it's there? Oh, yes, yes, Weeby! Give in, give in! Dee -dee 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 -dee. Man, where is she? She's usually up here. Did I go everywhere here yet? I think so. Yep, that's the stairs up there, so nothing there. Walk <laughs> Imagine walking into chat, talking about Mickey Mouse with no context. <laughs> it's all the context you need. <laughs> they probably are just like, yeah, it's a weeby stream. <laughs> to be expected. Well, what, like a what? Like a what, Kazuki? I don't want to be drowning like a mouse. Uh, like a Mickey Mouse. That reminds me of my favorite song. Miska Muska. Mickey Mouse. What if she's dead? Nah, she's good. She's good. Maybe she's in her room? I don't know. She's just always been upstairs every time. Yeah, I think all the other ones might be translated. They're just not translated in the game, I think. Like, um, they're probably translated, though, like, on Seth's channel or something. But I guess we'll see. Oh, in the dining hall? Let me see. Sounds good. Do <laughs> Muska bitchy mouth. God damn it. Chat is so worse. This chat is so cursed. So cursed. Okay, um. I'll try the dining room. It seemed like one of y'all might know. Might know more than I do, right? Yay! Hey, Chinami. Kazzy, whatever, what's the matter? What should I do? Should I spend time with Chinami? Spend time together. What, you and me? I don't wanna, but I do wanna. Thank God to look closer, Chinami. Let's give her a gift. Here it come. It doesn't really seem like that good of a gift, honestly. What? Oh my god, I can't believe you got me a hair comb. That's fucking crazy. Intimacy plus two. Um, excuse me, there's um, a favor I want to ask that. You uh, come to my room later. Okay, I'll go ahead and wait there. Oh, is this like the ending to it? Uh, I said it clearly. If you don't come, I won't stall your hair later. Uh, I didn't really want that anyways. <laughs> this I mean, come on, you know my hoagie is as sharp as a knife, right? Okay. She like dies trying to fix our hair from the blade of the Ahoge. I have no intention of getting my hair styled, but I'm curious though. I'll have to go and check. So why did you call me here? Okay, hers is like kind of themed it seems like. What is this like bleach? <laughs> I don't know. I was like trying to think of something that would like fit with like hair styling, but also potentially be used in like a murder. So why did you call me here? Don't get nervous, don't get nervous. It's not like before, it's just practice. Um, excuse me? Are you gonna practice your little date with Tata with me? I'll tell you in advance. I'm not doing it for you. Uh, what then? You're the opposite role. Opposite role? What? Maybe she needs a practice for a hairstylist, if that's the case. It'd be good enough if I don't end up with a weird hair. A confession? Oh, yes, she is! Oh, You know, the good thing about this... <laughs> getting canceled is that um you know if her and tato make it past this chapter i can just 
I'm just gonna headcanon that Kinjo saves all of them, you know what I mean? Oh, or you know what? It could be like that fanfic where it was like, Weeby News saves the DRA cast. We can have like that ending, but for this game. <laughs> so I'm just gonna headcanon they're all alive after the second chapter. They just, they bust out, you know? I come save them, Kinjo comes and saves them, whoever. Whoever, you know? We don't, we don't need, uh, God, if, if we do like Weeby saves the blowback cast, somebody's gonna put Mitch in there somehow. Confession, target, practice. All right, I hope it won't end up with a weird style. Uh, what? Tsunami, uh, do you have somebody you like? Uh, shut, quiet. What are you going to do if somebody hears it? No, this is soundproof, so I don't think there's anything to worry about. This is just, it's just practice. If that's the case, Yukari would be a professional for that. It has like, why don't you ask her? She's literally the matchmaker. Hey, you're talking a lot. Just do what I tell you. Okay, um, what should I do? You can just answer what I ask, easy, right? This is a level that can be, that even an amoeba can do. Yeah, okay. That's that then, all right. I'm only gonna say it once, so listen carefully because I'll never say it again. Why does she need to keep emphasizing like that? According to Chinami's patterns I've seen so far, I can guess it's going to be something like, go out with me. Inhales. It's gonna be super awkward. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Exhales. I, I. I like you. Do, do you want to date me? Oh, it's something like that. <laughs> it, oh, I like that sprite. It's so cute. It reminds me of somebody. Is it Mikan who has a sprite like that? I think so. Why are you suddenly making that face? What is this? Was she such a character? I didn't think she was. Isn't this a Gap Moe or something like that? It's just all the anime girl cliches. Or tropes, I guess, might be the better word for it. What? Answer me quickly. Do you know how bad it is for a boy to keep a girl waiting? Because I kept thinking, when I saw her like this, I suddenly wanted to make fun of Chinami. Do the southern accent. Oh. <laughs> we got a funny if you did like a southern accent. I'm sorry. I've dedicated my life to my weed, I mean corn farms, and I just, I ain't got no room in my heart for you. You know, a cowboy like me, we gotta... We gotta be, be on our own on the lonesome road. I gotta take my horse to the old town road, you know, and ride till I can no more. I'm sorry. Eh? Oh, be honest, I'm a bit shy. Well, there's also the other matter of personal preference. Oh, sorry, you're kind of like not my type. You're kind of ugly, so you know it's whatever. I'm more into, I'm more into mouses. Well, it's an unreasonable request, <laughs> sorry. And that's true, so my personality was the problem. Yeah, that's it. I, that's it. I was, huh? Uh, yeah, no matter what, a girl like me. Uh-huh. Janami, calm down. I was just kidding. It's, uh, huh? Kidding? I was just crying. Yeah, I was joking. Janami confessed like that. There's no way a boy wouldn't like you. Oh, uh, thank you. In our China Tony Rose. Thanks for being a member for eight months, a part of the Kenjo cult. Imagine she confesses, but Florida man says, <laughs> but Florida man says he's gay. <laughs> I'm dead. I can, I can honestly see that happening. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for the, or thank you for being a member. If Janami confessed like that, there's no way a boy wouldn't like you. Um, I swear it. Or maybe you can beat me later if not. It's too much. Huh? You stupid idiot, go die already! Uh, wait a minute! <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked out of her room, aren't I? Oh, thank you so much, Yuki Simp, for the uh, gift and membership. And congrats, whoever gets the membership. Oh yeah, it's just true. Thanks for, uh, thanks for that, appreciate ya. After that, I was beaten by a tsunami until her anger subsided. If there was a moment to call a disaster, this would be one, but it was nice to see a new side of her. Also, I think it'd be really cute if she behaved more honest like that. Tsunami Asami's information has been updated. Free time complete. Skill. <laughs> moody mine. I'm not moody. You're moody. <laughs> Cute. Kazuki's room. Noise. Hello, everyone. It's morning. 7 a.m. Wake the fuck up. Oh, hey, I got my gym bag. When I woke up this morning, there was a sports bag lying next to my bed. What was inside of it was a new gym suit wrapped in, a plastic, wrapped in plastic and a swimsuit set in a waterproof pack. Did Monokuma bring this? 
When I unpacked the gym uniform and put it on, it was surprisingly comfortable to wear. Oh yeah, now Kazuki can show off his muscles even more. It's because it's new clothes. Also, the size was just right, too. And as for the swimsuit... I decided to stop trying to wear it. I didn't come all the way here and play with the dimensions of my swimsuit. After that, I changed back into my original clothes again and went to the diner for our attendance. We were gathered by the pool at 10 o'clock. There's still time to spare. Shall we move around? Oh! Aw, oh, man, I don't think I can hang out with anybody, though. Man, do I just sleep? I'll just hang out with somebody in Korean. <laughs> Would I ever let Kazuki sleep? Disgusting. A sports bag containing swimsuits and gym clothes. I don't need to wear it right now. I don't know if you technically can sleep in this game. I would assume so. I think you can always sleep in these games, right? Do you want to skip? Hell no. <laughs> okay, let's go learn Korean, guys. Thank you, and yeah, hi, Levy. Your your videos always bring my mood up. You're funny too, and overall, really fun to watch. Thank you for all you do. Happy birthday for real. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's so sweet. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you enjoy the streams, and thanks for uh, stopping by. What are y'all talking about? In chat, <laughs> Mickey or Paula? Polyamorous king. <laughs> oh, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all. Even me, like, looking at the chat, sometimes I'm like, what's going on? It's literally my stream. And without any context, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Bree, for gifting five memberships. Congratulations. Everybody got one. Oh, cool. Drew, Nico, Under a Shadow, Angel, Melody, Rinko. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Let's... Alien doll calligraphy? What, what was this guy? He was like an entrepreneur or something, right? Wrist protection? Would he like that? It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Does it even matter? Honestly, would have to... Um, like, should I download... <laughs> should I download the Google? <laughs> Redownload the Google thing? Shaped ramen, organ set, necktie? Eh, fuck it. He liked that, right? Oh, he hate it? Oh, you know, he liked it! Sweet! Okay, wait. Let me, um... <laughs> like, wait, wait a second. Man, I don't think I have the Google thing downloaded anymore. Oh, no, yeah! Okay, there it is. It's already on here. I just gotta re-download it. <laughs> oh, God. I guess we'll just chill while this, uh... <laughs> Oh, interpreter? I think it's he's an interpreter. Interesting. I don't know. I, I don't know how I uh, missed that. I, I thought he was like an entrepreneur or something. He just he just gives me such Tagami vibes. Yes, Google, <laughs> save me, Google. Okay, come on. Ah, yes, it translated Korean to Korean. God bless. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kamori- Kazuki, what are you doing? What happened suddenly? <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be too hard. Ah, uh, what is- Ah, uh, what is that? I wanna have a conversation. Conversation? Oh, I think that was actually me saying it at the beginning. Interesting. <laughs> they are also in the middle of getting gas. What? Oh, wait, no, no, I changed again. Huh? First of all, we're in the same situation. There's nothing wrong with getting to know each other. How to get gas from that? Whoa. <laughs> okay, this is totally... <laughs> we're just gonna skip through this. I don't think this is right. <laughs> oh, man. You want the YouTube playlist with this free time event? I'll just do it later afterwards, honestly. Because I have to change, like, the dimensions of my screen in order to, like, fit this on right. So it just kind of makes sense to do it uh, better. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Yuki-sen, for the five gifted memberships. Oh, well, congrats to everybody who got the membership, too. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, guys. Y'all are so nice. Y'all gone crazy with the memberships recently. Prepare your positions! Yeah bang! Bang, bang, bang! Little runt, if you arrive late, you'll die later. Hey, come on, it's Tattoo. Oh, she's such a sip. I mean, if you fall behind, don't let me behind, idiot. Cheers, cheers. 
Play, play. Oh, cute. Kazuki, you look bad. What's wrong? I'm a little nervous, aren't you? Um, what do you mean? About our next match. Today's game is a competition. For that reason, one team was left, so we avoided the last place because I went up first in the second round by default, but honestly, I'm not used to swimming. Kazuki, have you ever swum? I'm not bad at it, but I'm also not very good at swimming. Honestly, I don't have a swim ring. I can only float in the water. <laughs> Do it. Get it. it oh, wait. Oh, that was her that said it. I'm not good either. Honestly, if I don't have a swim ring, I can only float in the water. Can I have some floaties, Monokuma? <laughs> Can I be gifted some floaties, please? Uh, anyways, we got no choice but to work hard, right? We might get lucky and win. <laughs> I'm just gonna drown to death. No, I think that's... No, I think that's unreasonable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we have the other competitions, right? Sometimes Yukari can be pretty decisive. But yeah, I do want to win at least one match. Even if it's too hard. Let's do our best. No buts, okay? Yeah, of course. I knew that we had to cooperate to escape from here, but as long as it was a match, I wanted to win at least once. Moreover, I decided to work hard. Wouldn't it be okay to aim for at least one win, if at all possible? All right, let's try our best. Oh no! Ah, oh, Mickey. Ah! Wait, where's Pet Chan? While I was stretching, I heard Mickey Higo's voice next to me, being surprised. Hey, Kazuki, you, you surprised me. Oh, uh, sorry. Please don't do that next time. I was really surprised. What did I even do? I feel like I just was like, cool, bye, Yukari, good talk. And Mickey Higo was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Stop that. Oh, thank you, Dahum Ajaji. You have to read the Chiaki Nanami Extra Life fanfic. It's phenomenal. And you'll love it. Trust me, it's much better, much better than Danganronpa 3. <laughs> it's a low bar. No, okay, okay, I'll be, I'll be nice. Damn it. Every time somebody brings up Dragon Rafa 3, I feel like I have to roast it. At least, at least a little bit. At least a little bit, you know what I mean? But thank you for the dono. I'll have to uh, check that out. I feel like I might have heard about it before. I've been thinking about kind of like checking out fanfics for like some videos. Just to, I don't know, look into those. Because I never really looked into Dragon Rafa fanfics for whatever reason. But uh, thank you. Appreciate the dono. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Yuki Simp. You're welcome, everyone. Oh, that's so nice. And congratulations to everybody who got a membership. I look forward to seeing y'all in the Discord. I was really, I was really surprised. Mickey Hiko is drenched in water and shri shivering slightly. Come to think of it, he must have drowned in his first game. That's why he doesn't feel very well. <laughs> I'll be careful in the future. I'm really sorry. Ugh. Um, Kazuki, it's our turn. Come on, quickly. Okay, but when did you get there? Okay, do I actually get to like uh do anything? Oh no, I d I want to at least see the match. Did I? Did I do okay? Phew. I feel tired all of a sudden when I went to swim without any other thought. That's why I might run out of energy for the next game. This is a little harder, but I should try more harder. Maybe I should learn <laughs> how to say that better. The next one is the three-legged match that consumes less stamina. I'm going to use my spare time to search around the school. Oh my god, for real? How much free time is in this one, dude? Dang, that's crazy. Um, should I just sleep? Maybe I will just sleep. Because Google Translate was not helping me, uh, not helping me at all. Okay, fine, Kazuki, you win. You can do what Sora never was able to do. You can live her dream for her. Don't let Sora know. <laughs> Don't let her know that I, uh, that I did that. Never been, I was like, I didn't really get to see, like, where he placed, though, right? They're not gonna tell us until, like, the very end, I guess. I guess maybe, like, Monokuma records it, but he doesn't, like, I don't know, like, Tell us until the end or something. I guess we'll see. I've never been so close. Never been so close to a girl than my older sister since I was born, bro. Let's calm down. <laughs> calm down, bro. You're like two feet away from her. Let's let's be for real. Let's be for real for a second. To be honest, I'm like so nervous right now. I didn't mind when I was in a swimsuit before, but I'm more concerned about it because they're right right next to me. Since he lost in swimming, we should try to win this time, right? We can do it! Oh, uh, oh yeah. I'm just sweating. Is it, is it hot in here? Oh my god. Right, let's concentrate now. Focus! Focus! Putting all thoughts aside in the corner of my mind, I wrap my hand around Yukari's shoulders and pat her shoulder. 
In the end, this match is a team effort where everyone joins all at once. It's a simple ranking decision. If we run as hard as we can, we'll make it somehow. Putting my heart to work will be overwhelming, but that doesn't mean victory is guaranteed. In this captivity where there was nothing but despair, I happened to be so absorbed in something like this. I was just happy about that fact. Aw, that's cute. Enjoy your happiness while it uh, lasts. <laughs> at this moment, everyone was focused on one thing. Those heart-filled eyes. Looking at the hope of forgetting the bad things and getting out of here. If I feel this way, is it just my exaggerated sentiment? Yahoo! Start! Oh, friends running in unison. At the same time, the signal shows up. Mix in between. Yukari and I run, run our feet. Oh, cute! Aw, yay, we get a CG for this one. Is this like the, I think this is like the three-legged race, right? It kind of seemed like it, because I was like, if it's just a normal race, I do feel like Tato would probably win since he's like eight feet tall. <laughs> he kind of has like a uh, pretty big advantage. Uh, uh, Where's Mickey at? Ooh, Mickey, you're so dead. <laughs> Who fell over to his death? Aw. Wait, if you fall now. Oh! Hey, were you guys okay? Now's not the time to worry about the people behind you, idiot! Oh, this is cute. It kind of seems like we're doing okay. I don't know who these people are, though. I guess that might be like Tore and uh... I don't see Tore over here, at least. Hey, you really need to grow tall already. I'm gonna die if I keep this pace. If you got the time to grumble, run. I I'm not a sissy whining. Ugh. You know I'm a girl, right? And it's not wanted, it's a fair complaint, you bastard. That's it then. This is really... Um, hey, you, he, hey Shuzo, you wanna like, try to race a, a little bit maybe? No, I'm good. How's that gonna help me with gaming? Oh. Uh, do I want an Xbox from this? No, I don't care, man. Uh, huh. Are you alright? It's hard, but Maya will go to the end! Understood, let's do our best. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, um, Miss Issei, is there something, Miss Issei, is there something you feel uncomfortable about? Um, that doesn't seem to be the case then. <laughs> Gosh, she's so much shorter than him, dude. Oh my God, she's like half his height. One, two, one, two. What are you doing? Kazuki needs to show some command to, too. Okay, I guess that makes more sense while he was like, so, um, what's the word, like, shy about being close to a, a girl. They're actually, like, hugging and stuff. Because, like, the sprites just look like they were standing next to each other. I couldn't remember if it was a three-legged race or just, like, a normal one. Oh, thank you, Lady Lidkid, for becoming a part of the Kenjo Cold. Yeah, slay, slay, slay. Appreciate you. Eh? Stop dilly dallying! One, two, one, two! Uh, one, two, one, two, three, one. Oh shit, that's not how it goes. After the three long three legged race, the first team to cross the finish line was surprisingly Tore and Toshiro. I heard a lot of arguing at the beginning. It looked dangerous. Aside from that, breathing was hard. Uh, that was. We did a good job. I never really noticed his earrings before. Dang. Those could be used as weapons, dude. It's kind of cool looking. I like it. Yeah, yeah. They say they're dumbfounded that they won first place during the fight. Okay, it was them in first place. I was like, they were the only ones I didn't really see in the picture. Nice. I don't know if they were meant to be good rivals. Kazuki, you did a good job. Good job, Yukari. Honestly, I didn't think we would come in second place. Okay, cool. It's a bit of a shame to lose first place, but even getting second place feels really good. Us two, surprisingly, we get along well, don't we? It's probably gonna be Shozo and Akeru who are like last place, honestly, since like... Right? Because they were last definitely in this one since Shozo was like, oh, I don't feel like going, oh, you know? I kind of feel like he's probably gonna do that for most of the other ones too. Uh, yeah. I felt like the anguish of various meanings passing through my head for a moment. The faint body temperature when being close. A girl's faint, sweet smell. Um, Kazuki, you're kind of creeping me out. Your expression is like you were in pain. It, it, it's nothing. <laughs> I need to watch out. Everyone, please wait. Oh, Kazuki, you're such a little creep sometimes. I wish to make a proposal. Will you listen? 
Um, what is it? It's like he's never been. <laughs> he's never touched a girl before. We've sweated quite the amount, so I wish to make a suggestion for us to take a bath together. I want to hear your opinions. Well, Maya likes this idea. Oh, wait, is this the man's nut situation? Oh, wait. <laughs> All of us together? Oh my god, did he tie? Did he tie his little hair? Oh, that's cute. Did you braid your little hair, buddy? Oh, that's so adorable, dude. Aw, look at that. Of course, men are apart, you pervert dumbass. No, I didn't even think about that. Is that normally braided like that? I didn't really see it. I don't think it usually is. Maybe I'm just not usually that, uh... <laughs> I don't know, that, like, observant? Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't really mind today. Hey, man, I'll tell you just in case. If you take one peek, I'll make sure you won't be standing ever again. You'll be six foot under in Tado's weed farm. Men should wash themselves separately. Uh, okay. A group bathing. How envious. I think the guys would want to get together and wash our backs at least. Ugh. Ugh. Or maybe that's impossible. Do you wish to save? Sure. No, it's not usually braided. That's so freaking cute! Yeah. <laughs> he braided his little hair. You know it's the same length as the rest of your hair. You don't need to braid it. I don't know. I don't know how that would help you, bro. I'm tired. It's been a while since I've sweated this much. Should I try using the bathhouse? Oh, here we go. Huh? Toshiro? <laughs> uh, uh, what, Kazuki? I wasn't doing anything weird. What are you doing? It's nothing. Moreover, what are you doing here? Well, I had a pretty hard exercise and sweated a lot, so I came to refresh myself in the bathhouse. Oh, is that right? Well, since you're in the mood, of course it would... <laughs> Guys, it's not Toshiro's fault. It's the fact that I gave him the Mitch voice. It's possessing him to want to do this, you know? Don't don't blame Toshiro. Don't blame him. The Mitch voice possessed him. What the hell? Peeping? It, it, be quiet. They can hear everything. Just as I thought, you were thinking like that. Disgusting. Don't you know? If you get caught, it's the end. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it, dude. Toshiro said that with a serious expression, putting his hand on my shoulder. Yeah, I know it's something that should not be done. I know. But still, are you, uh, are you really not interested? Huh? I'm asking as a man, one man to another. Seriously, do you not care about how the girls wash up? Um, take a peek at the girls' bath. Ha! <laughs> Oh, it's the exact name of the item, too, we got, isn't it? It's literally a man's dream itself. A man's nut. What do you think? If you really don't care in the slightest, then I'll quit, too. Um. Answer me, which one is it? Um. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Mom. Sister. God. Sans Undertale. Please forgive me. Are you sure we won't get caught? Oh, of course, man. The bath is so big. We won't get caught easily. Tori is the only one you have to watch out for. <laughs> but that's about... What's about? And just that. I'll work it out somehow. <laughs> Isn't that state of mind dangerous? It don't... <laughs> his little hair moves too when he's like, uh... When he's like emoting, I just noticed. It's like his own little hoge. Hey, don't worry too much. If we get caught, we'll probably get scolded a lot. <laughs> I don't think they would kill us, though. <laughs> I don't think so. Is that... is that true? Hey, yo! What you guys doing? Oh, nice timing. Do you want to go with us? We're going to go see something really nice from now on. <laughs> Freaking Toshiro, dude. He truly was possessed by... by the ghost of the Mitch voice. <laughs> it's like, Toshiro, this isn't like you. Oh, what do you mean, man? <laughs> What do you mean? This is totally me. <laughs> something nice. What's that? It's something really nice. A really nice man. Let's go. Huh? Oh, you're not gonna tell Tante what it is. Huh? Okay. Is it corn? You know how much I love corn. <laughs> to be honest, even though I've reached this point, my conscience and guilt still run wild inside of me. Saying, "Is is this okay?" I am a guy, so honestly, I can't say I'm not interested. You understand, no matter what scene shows up before your eyes, 
Oh, you understand. No matter what scene shows up before your eyes, you won't make a sound. Got it. Oh, oh, okay. I like how he just like didn't actually tell Tata what they were doing. I mean, he could probably figure it out though, right? I wonder what we're going to be looking at in the bathhouse when all the girls are bathing together. <laughs> it's probably corn. The conscientious part of my heart that rebukes me. But because I'm already a guy of that age, I pressed onward with a cliche excuse. I carefully moved my gaze into the bathtub. The conscientious part of my heart that rebukes me. But because I'm already a guy... Oh, wait. Why are you saying this again? Just, <laughs> just really upset. Oh, my God. It's time again for the fan service. Ew, I'm so tired. I really can't do this, this athletic competition or whatever. In Maya's opinion, you were pretty excited, weren't you? You kept cheering on like that. <laughs> I feel like YouTube might honestly uh, <laughs> block this. I feel, like, I feel like this one might be a little bit, I don't know, more severe than some of the other ones. <laughs> oh God, I may have to edit this out in post if YouTube gets mad at me. <laughs> And that can be helped. If that fool loses, I lose too. It is not corn. Oh, I can edit on some corn. Maybe in post. Will YouTube Studio let me do that? Edit on some corn? <laughs> no, you were pretty enthusiastic. Seriously, just stop, you two. You two are really good friends. You both look like sisters. Should I, uh, <laughs> should I send my... Whoa! <laughs> Any just I feel like honestly you two might get mad at this. Is that so from now on? My will call him a soccer or older sister then. I feel like they honestly might block this, and so maybe I should just cover it up. Demonetize dark. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Go back. No, we're the same age. That's a bit. I really do hate it. Um, is this okay? This girl looks like a kid just from appearance. Fine then. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Give me more. No, no. Somebody bonk them. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you that way when I want to. Though the two of you are sisters-in-law now. Miss President, you are very well stacked. Huh? Oh wow, that is true. The biggest one from our group is... <laughs> Jesus. I think that'd be correct. I miss, I miss Ducky Chan. What are you saying all of a sudden? My chest is not that big. <laughs> Weaving, my dad just walked in. What do you mean? Nothing's going on, dude. It's just me. It's just a zoom in of my face. Nothing, nothing's going on here. <laughs> um, Chinami. Then let's check out. I will see here. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, the way I can tell a man wrote this. Oh, my wants to touch, too. Girls do not do this. Who's got the bigger rack? Let's compare. Let's touch each other's boobs and make out. That is exactly what all women do at sleepovers. Hold on, you guys. Eek. Uh, Yukari, help me. Um, isn't it fine? It's just girls being girls, after all. Yukari. Oh, that's a bit cold. I thought you were gonna tell them to stop. Well, I'm a little jealous, too. <laughs> I can't with the same Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, it's just an inconvenience to have bigger. Oh, don't do that. Help me. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, why did you get that? Uh, what did you do to get that chest size? Oh, we do need Kenji. You know, I was actually thinking about wearing a Kenji cosplay this stream. Damn it! I should have done it. We need Kenji. We need him here. By the way, the temperature of this bath is really nice, isn't it? Um, you there? Kana dot dot dot. I, um, excuse me. <coughs> Ow, oh, God, I didn't see you there. Agaru. Uh, what's up with that reaction? Could it be that you didn't even notice my presence this whole time? Is that it? Um, what a uneventful cutscene where nothing happened. <laughs> Spare me, YouTube! <laughs> I didn't want the fan service, YouTube. It just happened. It just happened. I leave for five minutes and come back to what? <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. We do need some. We need some Jesus. Where's my uh my Kenji cross? I'll go get it. I'll go get the Kenji cross. <laughs> In the name of Kenji. In the name of Kenji. <laughs> I ask you to get off the stream. To get off the stream. Oh god, that scene was rough, man. That was... <laughs> that was probably one of the, my least favorite fan service scenes so far. <laughs> Whoa, I feel incredibly scorched. This is your fault somehow, Mitch. Damn it, I gotta give Kotushi a different voice. Uh, yeah. But that wasn't so bad, right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The script writing for that scene was a, uh, was it was definitely a choice. It was definitely a choice. <laughs> yeah, but we can't do this twice. Yeah, but we can't do this twice. Oh my god, even I got possessed by the voice of Mitch too. Give them all the Mitch voice. Yeah, but we can't do this twice. I was too nervous. You two, I felt incredibly satisfied after seeing it. Our lives would have been in danger if we got caught. But why is it like that? Um. That's because the shock was too immense. He seems to have completely lost his mind. This guy's surprising. He has no tolerance for women. Hey, wait. <laughs> Poor Tonto, dude. I did not want to say that. I'm just a... I'm just an innocent farmer, man. I didn't need to say that. Hey, wake up already. Oh. Oh, huh? You okay? I'm okay, but what have we been doing so far? I thought we were going to say something good. <laughs> just totally blacked out. Ah, uh, that, that's for the best. That's for the best, buddy. <laughs> that's for the best. Thank you, Blessed Bane. I miss SDRA2 giving us the man service scene. That probably was my favorite one. I feel like it also just wasn't, like, as intense. This one, too, was just so, like... I don't know, like, a man writing how he thinks girls act in battles. <laughs> like... Oh my god, let's compare boob sizes. <laughs> that's just not a thing that happens. I'm okay, but what have we been doing so far? I thought we were going to say something good. Have you lost your memory? I just blacked out, man, and all I saw was corn. Right, because that's just not how it, that's just how it went. Nothing happened. Honestly, the best thing about the SDRA2 one, the reason why I like that one too, Ducky Chan. <laughs> we got Ducky Chan, man. Nothing happened. Really, um, well, if you guys say so, then that's it. Uh, I think I should bury today's event in my mind until the day I die. Of course, as good memories in a way, or something. <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of wish I blacked out, too. <laughs> you made the right choice, Tato. I'm tired. The fact that my body complains of fatigue, even though I haven't done anything tremendous. I'm so tired from the first day. I don't know if I can hold on. Still, it wasn't that bad. It's only been one day since the athletic activity started, but it was really like a normal athletic class that you experienced in ordinary school, so it wasn't bad. Bing bong! Hello, it's school announcement! 10 p.m. nighttime! We'll begin soon, the diary will be locked, no go zone, don't go there! Oh, hey, here we go! First place, Tore and Toshiro! Seventh place, oh, Rio and Mikihiko. Really? Y'all got beat by Shoko? Are you serious? <laughs> Damn, you guys suck! Rio and Mikihiko. I just know Mikihiko's hiding some crazy ass shit, bro. <laughs> I know, Pet Chan. <laughs> I murdered a few people, um, you know, before showing up to the killing game. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. For the teams mentioned after midnight, first team gets gold coins, the last team gets black coins. Please note that the recipients of the coins from each team are randomly determined, and for privacy reasons, the ones who receive them shall not be announced. And now the penalty for the team ranked in the last place according to the rules. Oh. Ryo Kamori almost caused an international trouble as an interpreter. International trouble? Like, translate something wrong? Mikihiko! Koya Tsunaga as a kid was mistaken as she and suffered quite a bit because of his older sisters. Okay. Trauma. Now then, have a good dream and good night! Oh, uh, thank you, someone unknown. Consent, <laughs> Consent is cool, everyone. That is... 
<laughs> true. Sure, words have not been spoken, you know, in fiction sometimes they like to, <laughs> they like to, uh, I don't know, really push the lines of that, don't they? Thank you for the dono, though. Appreciate you. And so we were told that our penalties would include our personal information. What in the world could it, what did it contain about me? Did he, like, it'd be kind of interesting if he, like, Rio, like, interpreted something purposefully wrong. I mean, I could see him getting paid off to, like, make somebody look bad. But no, I mean, what is he, like, if he translates something wrong, the other people who speak that language are going to be, like, yo, he didn't, he didn't translate that right. <laughs> Oops, sorry, excuse me. What in the world, what it contained about me, recalling what Chinami said yesterday. It's not good information. It's something to be ashamed of, right? I'm curious. I didn't know that I would regret not being first place now. It feels like something is, someone is looking through my diary. We're being thoroughly motivated this way. Do you feel like Rio? I don't know. Rio's definitely not trustworthy at all. I feel like Mickey's kind of like a loose cannon. I feel like he's just got like a, I don't know. It's just a little unstable. Him and a carrier to me both have this like little unstableness about them, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see for now. When I have complicated thoughts, sleep is for the best. After all, a good night's sleep. I'll get strong and oh hey. Who could it be at this time? Who is it? Oh, Tore. Oh. Oh no, did she get like a secret about me or something? Yikes! Oh, thank you so much, Yuki Simp. You dropped this, Queen. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, I appreciate you. You're so nice, Yuki Simp. Oh, thanks so much for coming to the streams and for the donations. Appreciate you. Aw. The visitor who came after nighttime was Tore. What's going on at a time like this? Uh, what's wrong? An announcement earlier. Did you hear something related to a coin reward? Yeah. I have something to tell everyone about that. Oh, shit. I'm gathering the others to discuss it in the dormitory. Oh, uh, is it that urgent? I'm doing this at this hour because it's urgent. Or what, you don't want to come out? No, um, I'll be out in a minute. Did you find out something bad about me? I don't know, she's being kind of intense. Then come out, I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, Ike. Akazubaki finished speaking and headed to the next room. I like how he switched to her last name. <laughs> it's like after she scared him. Akazubaki, what's her story? What is happening? Uh, what's going on at a time like this? My sleepy. Uh, me too, yawn. Is there something important happening? First off, I'm sorry for bothering y'all so late. Still, it is urgent, so please understand. What is this urgency? Did everyone hear about the coin reward on the broadcast? After the nighttime announcement. Oh, is that what you meant? He mentioned the coins will be given between nighttime and midnight. Why is it that urgent? I'm fine with the gold coins, however. I'm concerned about the black ones. You know, it's like, um, let me try to make sure I kind of, like, understand. Oh, thank you, Stark Eagle. Have a, hope you uh, enjoyed the stream. Have a good rest of your day. I think I saw that you said you were leaving uh, soon. Double check that. Yeah. I'll try joining the Discord, too. Oh, yeah, let me know if you have any issues joining the Discord as well. Look forward to seeing you on there. Ugh. I guess you're just worried about what people are going to do with the black coins. Because the black coins, they got you, like, weapons, I'm pretty sure. And then the other ones got you, like, secrets about the other people until you get, um, whatchamacallit, um, the escape button that they want. What you can get with gold coins is information and truth about us and the escape button. Okay, yeah, he's literally going to say it. And what you can get with black coins is a weapon that can easily kill one person. That's probably the part she's worried about. It is definitely a dangerous factor. Because the exchange of that product is a weapon, that's why. Wouldn't special measures be necessary? Um, what's the special measures? Well, I definitely don't trust Rio as well, and he got last place, probably on purpose, bitch. Oh yes, for example, we collect the black coins in one place. We won't let anybody use them. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't really think this is uh, gonna work out. Cause I was like, still, if you put it in like one place, can't people just go there and like steal it anyways? What are you gonna do at night when everybody's in their own separate room? You know what I mean? Somebody can just go out at 3 a.m., take the coins, and then get the gun. I feel like at least if like the losers have the coins, then you at least know like, okay, it was likely Rio or Mickey who did the killing, you know what I mean? But if you just put it in a random spot where everybody can see it, then it's like, 
It could be anybody. Oh, well, yeah. For example, if we collect the black coins in one place, we won't let anybody use them. I wish we could get rid of them, that, but that's against the school's regulations. Then what should we do exactly? I called you guys here so everybody could find out. Does anybody have any ideas? Black coins are definitely dangerous stuff. A way to keep those coins in one place and prevent them from being used. How about this? We'll leave the coins... <laughs> okay, the diner automatically locks. Okay, well that's a pretty good idea then. We'll leave the coins in the diner at nighttime. The door to the diner automatically locks. So they'll be safe there. Okay, I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, actually, I think they did. Um, I think Monokuma did mention that at some point. Oh, that's good. But the diner is really locked at night. Isn't that just his word? That's not it. Um, the last time Mikihiko was thirsty, he went to the diner at nighttime. In the end, he forgot it was locked, so he walked in for no reason in the end. The fact that the door is locked at late night is no lie. Little boy's words are true. <laughs> Hey, it was me saying that, not the little boy! Because I also checked. Aren't we the same age, too? Wait, are you only able to talk in situations like these? Ah, oh, the little kid's words would not have been corroborated otherwise. So you'd probably get the diner to check it out by yourself. I just wanted to not waste time. Besides, I want to go back to my room and rest quickly. Greasy hair. Even if you are the one who says it, it doesn't really prove it, does it? Uh, we can't help it. I'll go check and come back. Wait a minute. It looks pretty locked tight. Doesn't even budge. Then, even if you keep them at nighttime, what are you going to do when it's not nighttime? We don't need to hide them. Why not just leave them in the diner? But then something, someone might steal them! Of course, I don't mean leave the coins alone. Someone can keep the coins by their side and keep them. If it's okay with you guys, I'll be watching them. She did. <laughs> if that's how it is, I'll help you. It's not something a girl can do all alone. I'm like twice your size, Toshiro. I'll do it too, since there are many who will walk to them. There's no issue with that. We don't need that many people because we have to keep the coins in front of our eyes. We can take turns monitoring them, no matter how many we are. It will be unreasonable for all of us to stay in the diner all day. Understood. Then let's take turns to watch the coins. This gives us all the measures for nighttime and the rest of the hours. What's left now is... Um, there's something else? Between 10 and midnight, a coin is given. We haven't come up with a solution for the most vague one yet. Um, it hasn't been long since the broadcast came out, and it probably hasn't been given yet. In that case, I have a favor to ask the two of you. A favor? You may be tired, but wait for the coins to be given, if possible, without falling asleep. And when it goes past midnight, give me the coin at that time. Uh, I feel like her and Rio like already kind of have beef too. I don't feel like he's going to agree to that. I'll keep it until morning, then I'll bring it to the diner when morning comes. To Miss Akatsubaki directly, you mean? Yeah, directly. Oh, is it not a problem to do whatever you want with the coins you get? This and that are different. This is a thing that can be exchanged for a weapon. If our lives are in danger, we should prevent that outcome as much as possible. Um, is there an issue? You don't look content. No, I wouldn't say it's an issue. Don't mind me. Why can't you be honest for once? Um, or perhaps you're afraid because you'll get bad impressions if you speak directly to someone. Hey, you, why are you interrupting us? I think I roughly know what this guy's trying to say. Instead of the guy who won't speak, I'm going to tell you directly. And also my own opinion as well. <laughs> this sucks. Well, let's begin with the conclusion. Yeah. I was like, I feel like I see why she wants to do it. Like, her managing the coins. But I wouldn't feel comfortable with her, like, managing it. I mean, like, I don't know. It's not that I think Tori's going to kill or whatever. Just, like, it's just weird. I feel like it's almost insulting the fact that she's like, I don't trust all of y'all at all. So I'm going to be the one to hold on to all the coins. It's like... Why should we trust you? I don't like the part where you manage the coins. Are you going on another tantrum again? Or do you have any grounds for that? Hey, there's a reason, because I don't trust you. That's all. Hold on, Tori is doing this for everyone. What right do you even have? So that's... <laughs> I'm here, guys. I exist. Stop interrupting me. So that's the only reason you're against it. Of course, not everything I'm against. 
Not everything, I'm against it. I have a head too. If you put them in the diner at night and take turns to monitor at times, the coins will not disappear. However, that would what would happen during your time period? If you want to say something, don't jump around the topic and say it now. It's the nighttime hours. The diner's already locked. Yeah, I was like, okay, it's a pretty good plan, the diner thing, for like the rest of the nights, but not necessarily with like tonight, because the diner's literally already locked. I feel like Monokuma probably did do that on purpose. The diner's already locked. So it's impossible to get us inside. Is there any guarantee that the person who's holding the coin won't think strangely? Especially if one individual manages them until the next morning. Are you trying to say I might get the weapons by using the coins? Oh, the face! As long as you're human, you can't say that there's no possibility at all. How ridiculous! Even when I don't need to kill, we can escape someday if we play sports. Why would I do such a thing? To borrow the words from the boy over there, there's no benefit for me. If you're unlucky, you might get caught being the black end and get executed. There's no reason to take that risk. <laughs> Pulling the escape button and even... Our personal information. There's a good chance someone will commit a murder because they're afraid of their past being revealed. Yep, exactly. Is there such a past you want to hide by killing people? <laughs> what about you? You might not care about yours if it's known, but it may not be like that for everyone else. <laughs> you look so creepy with that sprite, dude. And in that case, you didn't realize. You couldn't have had a past you might want to hide. Who can guarantee that? Ha, listen to this guy. This is seriously. Will you stop? Tori is doing this for all of us. So why should we doubt it in any way? I mean, like, I agree with him, honestly. I mean, like, it's like I said, I feel like, you know, she doesn't give me the vibes of a killer. Well, uh, granted, it's Dog and Rampa. I feel like everybody, like, there's a possibility of everybody killing, you know what I mean? But, I mean, I wouldn't trust her, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what secrets you're hiding, girl. I don't know you. Don't ever talk like that. Hey boy, do you have the same thoughts as this guy? I can't deny that there are some certain parts where I agree with. Besides, I'm a little upset that I've been suspected of committing a crime if I don't. Yeah, I feel like especially for him would be kind of insulting. My thanks. That's simply because of your bad behavior. <laughs> Am I being suspected too? But I'm just a will guy. I can't do that. I don't even have the guts to do it. That might be true. He doesn't look like the type to do that, right? Even so. Even son. <laughs> I'm not your son. Wouldn't it be better to Toure to be in charge of the nighttime hours? I'm a bit worried. However, there's practically no reason to cause an incident. I don't really feel like she's a good person either. Like, to have, like, total control of everything. Because, like, she's going to be the one that I'm, um, whatchamacallit, like, she's going to be one of the people getting, like, all the secrets and stuff too. So I feel like if she finds out a really bad secret about somebody, maybe she'll be prompted to kill. You know what I mean? I feel like it'd be better if it was like, I don't know, Kazuki or somebody like, uh, who isn't at the top or the bottom of the list, you know what I mean? And probably will never be at the top or the bottom of the list, let's be honest. But there are no problems. It will take some time, but we will be able to leave smoothly. It is only foolish to take risks. I think so too. One of us is trying to hurt someone. I don't even want to imagine it. My thing's be best just to leave it to Tore. There's a saying, just in case. Everyone's positions start to diverge once again. It was none other than Shozu who threw the bomb in between. Oh, is that so? Tori Akatsubaki, isn't she distrusting us? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, a few hours ago, she talked about cooperation and everything, but now she's acting in disbelief. Would you not call that a living contradiction? Isn't that what you're saying, doing more harm than good? Isn't what you're saying, do more, doing more harm than good? No, it's possible for her. You guys really think nobody is suspicious of her? Even Rio over there is bending in. He might have to choose, he might have to choose what is more profitable to just follow instructions. If you want to doubt me, do whatever you want, whatever you guys suspect, I'll just move with my own will. Hey, but so far, it's trust. Trust, cooperation, all of that. It's quite remarkable that distrust shows up. <laughs> oh my god, I distrust. So they say, oh my god, distrust reference? Me, every time somebody says that word. Thank you, Carolina Senzano. Sin Happy birthday, for real. Slay in the good way. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you for being a member for 10 months of the Kenjo cult. It's remarkable that distrust shows up in a, 
In this way among you, uh, among us, the ones saying those things. It's surprisingly fun. It was a fallacy. Talking about trust or distress just because you want to reduce risk factors was obviously a leap forward into a fallacy. But at the same time, it was enough to remind me of the possibility the possibility of saying, maybe that's the right thing to say. Now, how about it? Did I hit the mark? You don't move. But I can't stop being angry unless I smack him. That's why you shouldn't move. Oh, I I'm gonna do it. Hey, there is one thing I learned while rolling around a construction site. You wanna know what that is? <laughs> how to slay, bitch! Just like stabs him. <laughs> like, oh, fuck! Um... Before you start working, you have to pick out people who might come out uncooperative. I don't know if they were ignoring me because I'm a woman, but there were a few of them. Yeah. So I always filter out people who can cause trouble to the team that start construction. Then, oddly enough, the teamwork went smoothly. I guess she is kind of used to, like, working with teams, too. So, you know, I guess I shouldn't, like, um... I don't know, discount her... T it's like, I get... I I get what she's trying to do. I totally get it, but yeah, I would be insulted as well if I was somebody else in the group. So, in that aspect, I think I make, made a big mistake this time. Oh. I can't believe I left you alone without filtering a lump of trouble like you. What exactly are you saying? Are you going to resort to violence? But I thought you didn't like that. Unfortunately, the only thing banned is violence to Monokuma. Or something like that, right? So I don't think it will be an issue if I half- <laughs> If I half slay you, what do you think? And that's interesting. And do whatever you like. Terry was glaring at Shozo with a bloody gaze that she was- That she's never shown before. Shozo sends his sneering gaze towards her. Both of you quit it. Don't get involved. This is my own problem with her. It is not just your own problem if you fight like this. In the end, Monokuma will be pleased. He is desperately trying to get us to kill each other. You never know how this will end. That doesn't mean you can let this guy be. Then, will you really feel relieved if you half kill Shozo? Do you really want that? Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> yes? Okay. Damn it. Ah. Uh. Shozo, I understand what you said. I knew you were roughly thinking about us. Oh, I'll admit it. I can't say for certain that the worst thing won't happen as you said. As for me and Tore, perhaps I was always suspicious somewhere in my mind as well. And I'll accept your opinion this time. The person who received the black coin, bring it directly to the front of the diner the next morning. Oh man. I won't bother or I won't bother or bother them to retrieve it at night. Hey, is that really okay? It is us who are in danger if we are swayed by such a guy's words. For the safety of everyone, it'd be better to manage this properly. I don't know. I still kind of like... I don't know, man. I guess even if, like, hypothetically, like, Rio gets a gun from the machine or whatever, somebody else could potentially get it later, but at least you know if the coin disappears, like, who used it. Well, I guess you would know that too if Tore used it, but... If she's the only one accountable for it, then not necessarily. I think this might still be a little bit better. Because, like, if Rio just, Rio and Mickey just have to hold on to it for, like, one night, then, like, you know, they have to show something in the morning. And if they don't, then it's like, you know. <laughs> somebody, somebody used the coin. I think so, too. But I still want to believe everyone. No, because I want to believe. I won't let go just because I believe doesn't change the fact that you have to be more careful, at least until you bring it to the diner in the morning. And what do you mean? From now on, every morning, before the diner opens, I'll be waiting in front of it. I feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel like Masako is gonna die. I feel like she's been kind of giving some death flags. Just like, I don't know, the fact that she's like, I'm going to be in this place every morning by myself. <laughs> with no protection whatsoever. <laughs> Come visit me whenever you feel like it. To collect the coins first, and prevent someone from stealing the coins in the morning. It's not that I don't trust you guys. Please accept that this is the minimum line of defense for our safety. How about it? Oh, thank you so much, Bree, for the gift of membership. Appreciate ya. Congrats to Catherine. To be honest, I don't like it. If you really think like that, I won't stop you. I'm uneasy, but we've been doing well so far. 
Catherine. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Oh, man, I want to start calling Brie bro now. Do whatever you like. Thank you for trusting me. As the two of them take a step back and the atmosphere is slowly calming me down, I stroked my chest inside. When Tori stared at Shozu and became angry, I was nervous that I wondered what was going to happen. But at the same time, I suddenly recall the weight of the word trust. I began to question if it was this heavy. Interesting. So I'm gonna die tomorrow, man. I'm starting to wonder with this coin talk. Hello, everybody! It's morning! 7 a.m. Wake up, wake up! Masako's dead. <laughs> Probably, maybe, I don't know. What do you mean, lively? Rather, I feel like I've lost sleep. Yesterday, something like that happened. I have to do the athletic activity, but my condition is so bad. Apparently, Masako mentioned that she would retrieve the coins from the diner. It won't happen, but everyone is concerned if something bad occurs. Let's go and check. I guess we'll see. Oh, thank you so much, Clover, for the five gifted memberships. And congrats to everybody who got a membership. It's a soft bed. Oh. <laughs> okay. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to click that. I thought it was still I thought you were still talking, Kazuki, okay? So, um, to connect to the Discord, oh my god, Bree! thank you so much for the five gifted memberships, dang, y'all, look at you. So you should be able to connect it through, um, going onto Discord and connecting, like, your YouTube account to it, it should show up after you do that. I would wait, like, an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, maybe, though, before you do it, just because sometimes I think it takes a while to, like, integrate. Oh my god, <laughs> Yuki Sim, thank you so much, holy crap, everybody! <laughs> You get a membership. You get a membership. Everybody gets a membership. Whoa, dang. Thank you so much. Dang, you guys. Y'all are so sweet. In a gifting war. You guys are in a gifting war all of a sudden. Dang, that's wild. Thank you so much. Oh, Kazuki, good morning. Yeah, good morning. That coin is... Yes, it's here. A hollow bowl placed on the diner's table. Inside was a black coin that was emitting an ominous black luster. Okay, Rio brought it. I thought it would have been Mickey. Rio brought it this morning, saying a coin was delivered to him. He did. I'm glad for that. Honestly, I thought it would be Mickey who would deliver the coin. Yes, I think it'll be fine if we keep this in the future. What about Tori? Did she know that the black coins were recovered? She was here earlier. She pretended not to care much about it. But I feel she does. Was it just one? I thought each person got their own black coin. Ah, uh, well, that's good at least. The delusion I had, the Delulu, I had this morning must have been in my own mind. Playing tricks on me. Then how long will you be able to, then how long will you be keeping the coins? Excluding the time of the sport event, Tori Toshiro and I decided to divide our times into three equal parts and keep watching these. Originally, someone should be guarding them even during the sport event. Oh, thank you so much, Nikki, for being a member. Good morning, everyone. Hope stream's going well. Yeah, it's been sun It's been uh, fun so far. Uh, I don't know. There's so many people throwing up death flags. As per usual. <laughs> As per usual. Thanks, Nikki, though, for being a mod and for being a member. And thank you so much, Yuki Sim. Dang, y'all are being so generous today. Another gifted membership. <laughs> and Nikki. And Nikki's joined in on the on the membership war. You guys are so nice, dude. So freaking uh generous today dang the membership the gift war thank you nikki let's start saying this as like an announcer nikki pulls ahead into the team so far yuki simp is leading the pact in the gift war will brie and or clover challenge challenge them find out in the next time the next episode of weeby ballsy or whatever originally someone would be guarding them even during the sport event but at that time, everyone must participate together, so I think it'll be fine if we don't keep them. It must be difficult. It's only natural because it's for everyone's sake. She's saying it's only natural, but how hard it must be for Misako. Even I vaguely understand that. And it wasn't enough to check each floor, each condition of each room, weapon, or dangerous object, but even to become a guard to protect the coins, plus participating in the sport event. Oh my god, Yuki Simp! Holy crap! Yuki Simp's officially won the gift war. Oh my god! Dang! Holy crap! You're being so generous, dude! Oh my gosh! Congrats to everybody who got a membership, too! If it were me, I would be. it would be difficult to withstand it for even a single day. Don't overdo it. You might hurt yourself. Were you worried about me? 
Corey is because you're my friend. I'm a friend. <laughs> Me. It's nice to hear something like that from Kazuki. Huh? Never mind. Huh? Eh? <laughs> I'm glad that nothing happened yesterday. There is still time before the time for the sport competition begins. Shall I look around the school for a bit? Oh my god, this is like SDRA 2 levels of free time event <laughs> going on <laughs> with the amount of free time we're getting. I saw somebody saying like, oh, you could just like hang out with people, I guess, in order to get their, um, you know, their abilities. I didn't really think I would have enough time to do that since like, uh, I don't know, we only have like one chapter, but maybe I should do that? Should I hang out with Rio again? Oh, Bree! <laughs> Bree steps in once again, challenging. <laughs> challenging Yuki Simp and the Gift War. <laughs> oh my god, literally everybody in chat is gonna be a member at this rate. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Bree is still in the game. Bree wants everybody to know that she is still, she is still in it to win it. Um, should I? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Should I try to hang out with Rio again? I don't really know if I'll be able to get it. I don't know, actually, like, get anything with him, you know? Maybe? Eh. I feel a little weird doing the Korean cutscenes, too. Uh, Yuki pulled ahead, Yannick! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, literally, everybody in chat's gonna get a membership at this rate! <laughs> oh my god! Yuki, once again, <laughs> steps in declaring their lead in the gift war. <laughs> The rightful place as the emperor of the gift war. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, maybe I'll uh maybe I'll just sleep, honestly. You know, my man, my man deserves a break. Plus, I don't know if it's really worth it since I don't know if I'll actually be able to get anything. I'll just buy the violinist. Violinist? Violinist! The violinist, uh, whatchamacallit, ability later. View it's over. The morning exercise of the two-man trio legged match are done. There is quite a bit of time left until the afternoon game. I'll have to finish the investigation. <laughs> Maybe not, dude. <laughs> could I? Could I get enough? Could I get enough to do this? Oh my god, you guys are still going. <laughs> oh my god. Someone unknown, and thank you for being a member for a month. Place your bets, everyone. This membership war is just getting started. Bree coming back in to take the lead once again. Who will be the king and or queen and or emperor of the sub war? And also in our China, 20 rows stepping into the plate. Stepping in to enter the gift war. Who will win? Who will reign supreme in this ultimate duel? Who believes in the heart? In the heart of the gift? Heart of the gift war. I think Yuki probably is still in the lead, honestly. Yuki is gifted so much. Okay, sigh. I'm tired. In the morning, three-legged race. In the afternoon, Batman. After the morning game and the afternoon game, my whole body started complaining of fatigue. I didn't realize Batman was a sport you had. You sport you had to run so much. <laughs> Y'all are sitting breeze. Oh my god. Free, you're so nice. Save your money, Brie! <laughs> Yuki, one more! <laughs> oh my god, you guys are literally, literally in a war. Literally in a war right now. This is so funny, y'all are so sweet. <laughs> you know? Yeah, be careful of your wallets, though. I do appreciate it, though. Y'all are so nice. You guys are so sweet, dude. Gosh, how many people become memberships today? I'm gonna log into the Discord and see, like, 50 new members. This rate, I might skip dinner and fall asleep. Isn't this gonna be a problem if I do this? There is an evening attendance check and I don't eat, if I don't eat properly, I might not be able to survive tomorrow's schedule. Let's go to the diner. Oh my God, you guys are still going? Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you, Inner China 20 Rose. Not me, I'm only doing one to join the gift race. <laughs> Thank you for joining the gift race in our China 20 Rose. Your submission will not be forgotten. Oh my God, Yugi Sip. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> But save your money. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. You're definitely super far in the lead at this point. Yuki Simp has completely, completely, like, cemented their lead. Thank you, Dangan, for the gifted membership. Also joining in the race. How many people are in the race now? We got Bree, we got Yuki, we got Clover, we got Dangan, we got NR China 20 Rose. We got so many people in this, in this race. Oh, man. How many people 
getting memberships today. Oh my god. Yo. Now I see. Now it's time for Toshira to look out for the coins. You're getting hard, aren't you? Who else was watching after? Was it him, Masako? Maybe Tore was the other person? I guess we'll see. I am tired. And at this much, and if this much, there's nothing I can do about it. I just need to sit down and keep watching. Really, there is this sport competition happening these days, so I thought you would get tired eventually. And that's nothing. When I practice hard, there were many days when I exercised a lot harder than this. I see. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's kind of like, he's super, you know, like swole or whatever. Since uh, he does parkour. Hey, Tore. What are you both? What are you both talking about so much? I stopped by for dinner before checking in. What about you, Tore? I'm here because the coin monitoring shift time. So what are you two talking about? Hey, don't worry about that. Fill in. You're doing it wrong, kid. What's with that temper, anyways? I feel like I don't know. They give me like friend or like bestie vibes. Her and Toshira. They like bicker all the time, but I feel like they're also they also like love each other. You know what I mean? If you want to get the least courtesy, don't call calling me. <laughs> if you want to get the least bit of courtesy, don't go calling me. A, don't go calling me a kid, you bitch. Boys are always so fixated onto that. Don't you think this little guy, that little guy, is originally narrow-minded? Ugh, you! What, are you heating up again? I don't have the energy to be upset now. Ugh, damn it! Oh, Weeby, play the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog before it's too late. Is there a time limit to do that? Because I did hear about that this morning. I kind of want to play it. I don't know how long it is, though. Oh my god, thank you! Mimikyu lover enters the race as well. We have more. We have more. More people joining. Keep those coins safe. I'll go. It's useless to worry about me. Um. You two. We two what? No, nothing. You two seem to get along well. I wanted to shove that into my throat before I before saying it. If I say it carelessly, it might be the one getting one shot in. It's like they call each other bitch, you know? But like, they, it's in a loving way. It's like in a bestie kind of way. I'll go to. Let's have a quick meal. <laughs> Congrats to all 5,000 new members. <laughs> oh, come on. It wasn't that many. It was only 4,500. Oh, hi, it's a school announcement. It's 10 p.m. Nighttime will begin soon. They just skipped the race this time. The following message is a special announcement for the athletic competition. I shall present the results today. But I wanted to watch. First place, Team Chinami Asami and Tato Shimagami. Seventh place, <laughs> Ryo and Mickey Hiko again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> for the mentioned teams after... Nighttime. Okay, they do just get one coin each. Interesting. At the nighttime, before first place, I get one coin. The last team will receive a black coin. Please note. I don't know why I thought they both individually got a coin. Please note that the receivers of the coin from each team are randomly determined. And for privacy reasons, I shall not, shall not announce who will receive them. Now for the penalty applied to the last team according to the rules. Ryo Komori has caused a lot of nuisance to the team over personal matters. Mickey Hiko. Okay. Cause a lot of nuisance to the team over personal matter matters. Mikihiko Koyasunaga was cross-dressed by his own sisters at home. Oh, and, oh, oh. They like tortured him by doing that. Cause it said that that like his sisters caused a lot of issues for him before. So I don't know. I guess we'll. I guess we'll see. He's gonna get his full trauma dump because he keeps losing. That is all! Well then, have good dreams and good night! I kind of feel like Mickey's gonna kill, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, I feel like he's getting the worst trauma dump so far out of like, or the worst secrets being revealed, you know? We already knew Rio was a douche, okay? You know what I mean? But I feel like Mickey, we're like diving deep into like his childhood and stuff. Like, we don't need to hear all that. The day ends. I'm not in good shape yet, but I somehow managed to hold on. Poor Mickey. I wonder why, like, why they did that. Was there, like, a purpose or, like, a reason? Hello! It's morning, 7 a.m. Wake up time! Let's have a lively day today! Ah, uh, yeah, and I slept well today. My condition is better than yesterday because I went to bed early. Though I'm a bit drowsy still. Now then, let's do our best! 
First, let's go to the diner and check the attendance. Do 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 do. Oh wait, <laughs> wrong way. Good, good morning. Oh, Kazuki, did you sleep well? Perhaps, I'm in good shape today. Perhaps, if you don't know how you slept, then who knows? Uh -huh. I feel like, yeah, it'll probably be her, Toshiro, or Tore who gets killed. I feel like she's in the most vulnerable position though, since she's the one who like does it in the morning. I don't know, it's just like the closest to Midnight, or not, not midnight, but like uh, nighttime, you know what I mean? Thank you, bless Bane. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You're traumatized. Hey, Mickey. Hey, 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 Mickey. <laughs> oh, God. That's a good one, honestly. I do keep thinking of that song every time. Every time he shows up on screen. Perhaps, if you don't know how you slept, then who knows? Uh, have you ever felt that the way when you woke up? Something like, oh, I was rolling around last night. Oh, it's like that? At least I don't think I was rolling today. Um, I see. Well, I'm glad you're in good condition. How are you, Misako? How are you, Misako? Your condition? Are you okay today? If you're thinking about which side, I'm fine. Not over yet. Not over yet. Well then, have a nice day, Kazuki. After saying that, Misako lowered her gaze to the book she was opening once again. She looks a little tired. Is she really okay? Oh no. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like she is gonna die. I feel like Mickey's gonna kill too. So it's like thinking honestly that somebody might like try to just like throw the competitions in order to get the black coins. But I could honestly see Mickey just being so bad at sports that he just keeps losing over and over again. He's like, oh god, it keeps going further and further into my trauma. <laughs> it's gonna get to the really bad part yet. Sigh, it's over. Doing five laps in a row this morning. This is a bit... That's fatigue built up in my body. My stamina can't handle it. If we keep doing this, school investigation will be difficult. Should I take a break until the next game? Oh my god, Bree! Bree, do you have any money left? I am broke. Oh my god, Bree! Thank you so much. You guys are so nice today. Holy crap. Congratulations to everybody who got the uh, membership. Dang. Really gonna have everybody be a member by the end of the stream, dude. Ready for your positions. The war is not over. You guys thought it was almost over. Are you guys actually tied now? Oh my god. Bree and Yuki Simp are now tied. This war. This war continues on. Who will be the final victor? Ready your positions! Monica was talking to y'all, by the way. Ready your positions for the gifting war! Who will win? Yuki Simp or Bree? They're fast, similar to a submarine. I haven't seen them properly before, but Toshira is shorter than mine. And their swimming is so good. I'm so envious. Oh! That, that's a new hair, isn't it? I don't think I've seen that one before. You better not talk about while he's listening, maybe. Hey, which team do you think will win, Kazuki? Which team? Uh, oh, the only person who notices her. <laughs> Poor Karyu. Ah, uh, that's, I'm not sure. H who are you talking to? Oh. Oh. Okay, she's flirting with me. Okay, girl. Okay. Um, just tell me, any team. Um, that's, oh my god, I'm touching a girl again. <laughs> the vomit, that's it. It's bothering me a lot if she sticks to me like that. Akeru Kazuki... A Akeru Kazuki seems to be troubled. But no, but no matter how much I ask other people, they just chew everything I say. I guess she just means ignore. Maybe they can't hear me. She gives such yonder She gives such yonder vibes. And I'm here for it. I love you, Akeru. Yes. I don't care if you slay, girl. You got, you got the slay pass. Still, Kazuki takes good care of me and listens well. <laughs> Kazuki, please say something too. Do you plan on staying like that? Uh, well, <clears throat> that's not the case. Answer me quickly, Kazuki. Well, um, I don't, I don't really know. Um, you're not trying to fool me around, fool around me, are you? Um, no. Um, well, that's fine. Since you gave me an answer. Uh, Akari, next time you ask Kazuki, please. <laughs> Ayukari, 
sorry, but again, um, uh, Carrie, could you like back off, bitch? <laughs> could you like maybe consider just like backing off? Just a little bit, a little bit, sweetie. Uh, Carrie, next time you ask Kazuki, please keep a little bit of distance. Um, distance? Oh my god, Elena! Elena has joined the race. Will she compete with both Bree and Yuki Simp? The greatest to ever do it. We will see. Tune in. Tune in. This is a tight race, you guys. Distance? I mean, uh, concentrate on the game. Not that I even care. He's like a brother to me. <laughs> okay, cat fight. I was startled by Akari's sudden skin contact. And I've never been... So much and so much contact with girls other than my sister. The moment my heart surprised is about to subside. Wow! Oh dang, Kana is going so fast. Uh, okay, Tato. Okay, now I see why Chinami likes you. Damn, dude, he's got like a six pack. Holy, holy, <laughs> holy swole. Awesome. As I turn my head towards the. <laughs> As I turn my head towards the poot. <laughs> oh my god, poot. Famous sister of Demi Lovato's here in the room. I'm such a fan. At the cheers of the others, I could see Kana overtaking Tore by a wide margin. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Where'd that come from, Kana? Pant, 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 poot. Why are you? I don't think I've ever seen you this fast before. That was very surprising. Poots, the actual uh, 17 student hiding, <laughs> hiding among the hiding among the school. Uh, huh. Before shooting commercial, I learned to swim. Since then, I became a pro. I continued to pursue it as a hobby afterwards. A few, although my stamina deteriorated a lot after being in prison here for a while. Hobby, haha! -ha. I was confident in physical education, but I clearly lost. <laughs> I won! Now that you're finally out of power, have you decided to stop being weak now? I can't say for certain, but I think I am. If I keep losing my strength, Sina will worry about me. So now that this has happened, I decided to make a proper resolution. Huh? Oh. Everyone, I'm sorry for worrying you so much. And thank you very much for your concern so far. Oh, look at you, Kana. You get a little arc. I'll work harder. As much as I made you worry, I wish you all the best in the future. As Kana looked up again, a bright smile appeared on her face. Just like the day we first met. Aw, cute. As I stared idly at that smile without realizing, I was shouting at Kana. Welcome back, Kana! Aw, cute. That's nice. At my shout, cheers and applause from the others. Poor Torter. Kana must have been completely refreshed by this, right? Kana, you seem to be okay now. I have the same thoughts too. Now that she's recovered this much, there's no need to worry. Kana finally returned to her original energetic appearance. Looking at her in that state, I felt the strongest hope since arriving in this place. <laughs> Yuki! Oh my god. Do you have any more money, Yuki? It's okay. You can stop. <laughs> you can stop anytime you want to, bestie. Petition to make me a mod. I can ask the, the mods, I guess, how they think about that. But thank you so much for the donations. You were so sweet. <laughs> Keep your money. I think I remember you mentioning that you were uh, <laughs> going broke in the chat before. <laughs> but thank you. You're so sweet. Looking at her in that state, I felt the strongest hope since arriving in this place. Dee 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 dee. Would you like to save? Sure. Bam, 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 bam. To celebrate Kana's full recovery, we decided to gather at the diner to eat together. Of course, there was a few people who didn't come, but still quite a few people gathered, and we had a good time. Okay, who didn't come? Don't, of course, Shoko. I don't think I see Rio or Mickey. I don't know, man. I feel like Mickey's, like, truths are just gonna get, like, worse and worse. Until he just loses it and like goes off. But also I feel like a carry. I could see her being a killer. I kind of want one of them to be a killer this round just because they seem like they'd be fun. Like, uh, I don't know. I feel like they'd be fun killers. You know what I mean? Thank you. Someone I know. Just because they both seem a little unstable. Oh, Tato's abs look like corn on the cob. Yeah. That is so true. Honestly, that is kind of true. Wow. That's deep. That's, that's deep unknown. <laughs> Thank you for the don't know. Appreciate you. Corn on the abs. Not to mention, I was so tired. 
as this athletic competition continues for the third day, as my body is starting to lose strength. Hey, Kazuki, are you going back already? Yeah, I'm a little tired. It, you're getting tired? Then I'll walk with you. No, it's fine. Sorry to bother you. Hey, don't worry. I had some business to do anyways. So it's on the way. Isn't it enough? Um, is he gonna see Tori or something? No, no, she's here. And what is it? Move fast. <laughs> I said I was tired, bro. Toshira goes out the door without me saying it was okay. Well, can't help it now. See, want to talk to me about something, I guess? Kazuki, you look very tired. You gonna rest? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Since she's a love counselor, even if I don't tell her, she's well aware of people's psychological state. Then have a good rest. It's good to play, but you have to take care of your health. Yeah, all right. I'm really content that Kona has returned to her usual self. Yeah, this is probably giving Monokuma a hit too, right? That's right. Now that the biggest problem has been solved, if we continue the sports event like this, someday we'll be able to pull the escape button. I think you just jinxed us, bestie. Also, you look very tired. Are you holding up okay? I've been doing exercises that I didn't know, so I'm not very good at them. I understand that feeling. It's for me as well, because I'm not part of the sports field. This evening's attendance check is over after this, so you can go ahead and rest. Thank you, Misako. Yeah, I think the spare time might actually be airing tonight. Crap, I kind of forgot about that. I guess it's in like 20 minutes or something? I guess we'll see. Um, I guess I can always end this a little bit early and maybe have like a strong- a longer stream. Yeah. Stronger. STRONGER STREAM! Longer stream next time. I totally forgot that the spare time airs on Friday. Um, Kazuki, where are you going? I'm very tired, so I'm gonna go to my room. Oh, well then, I'll give you my e-handbook so you can go into my- <laughs> Girl, you were coming on so strong! So strong! So you can go into my private room. She has like a- what was she? Like an erotic ninja or something? Is she trying to, like, manipulate me or something? Because that is kind of, like, her thing. I think that's, like, what they do. They, like, manipulate men into having, like, sex with them. So then they can, like, kill them or something. So, I don't know. Just a thought. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I feel like she's just, like, yandere in love with him. But just the fact that she does that, too. And she's like, go to my private room. It kind of makes me wonder if there's a little bit more, I don't know, like, a sinister side to her flirting with me so much. Uh, sorry, but I feel more comfortable in my room. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't worry. I care if it was me, I would go there. Even if you murdered me. Hey, uh, Kazuki, you're leaving already? Yeah, I want to rest in my room. Oh, yeah, then I'll eat your food. Uh, I guess so. Eat, your, eat a lot. Mr. Watanabe, no matter how desperate the situation gets, it seems hope will eventually return. Huh. Yeah, that's right. I feel like somebody's about to die soon. Everybody's too happy. Still, you're already leaving. Yeah, I got a little tired. Dude, Toshiro's probably pissed at me. I'm taking my I'm taking my sweet time <laughs> meeting up with him. It's a shame. I'm very glad Kana made up her mind. Yeah, thanks, by the way. What for? Thanks to Tori, it's hard work for Kana. That might have been a trigger for her to regain strength. That's what I thought. Oh, <laughs> Ag! Oh, hey, you. Were you the kind of person to say things like that? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they had their little fight, I guess, last time. I was surprised to be suddenly hit in my arm. Next time I praise Tori, I'll have to be more careful. Hey, Mai. Well, Mai wonders what kind of personality Kana has to be able to get such a... Get such a... To be able to get out of such a sudden depression. Uh, Mai? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it probably gotta be, since I started voice acting, that it's getting worse? Um, wait. Oh. Wait, that she's, she's... Okay, I thought I... I thought it was just like a typo or something. That she got into a sudden depression. I thought she said got out of, or that was what she meant. But, interesting. Getting worse, so it's like kind of a mental disease? It may be or it may not be. It goes up and down like a roller coaster. I'm gonna kill somebody tonight. Oh, I'll have to write about this. I'll have to write this down in my research journal. Humans are definitely interesting. Humans are fun too, after all. <laughs> oh no, man, I feel like I'm kind of scared now. Uh, I feel like that was kind of foreboding. She was like, you know, I've just been struggling with severe crippling depression all my life. It just kind of goes up and down in waves, bestie. But I'm fixed now. Don't worry. I'm fixed. Nothing bad will happen. I don't think I should bother these two having a fun discussion. Maybe she's going to slay. I don't know, man. Um, what? Do you have something to say? Uh, no. 
Hey, boring. As Tanami speaks bluntly, she sometimes looks at Kana next to her and smiles. She seems to have regained some hope thanks to Kana. Kazuki, I'm sorry for worrying you all these days. No, it's okay. We're just glad you cheered up, aren't we? And thank you. I'll work hard for Sina's sake. Yeah. I'm glad Kana is back again. I don't know. I just kind of feel like that was foreboding a little bit. Her talking about it being like a roller coaster. I mean, like, it is true that, like, mental health definitely does go in waves. You know what I mean? Just because she made that big announcement doesn't mean that, hey, she's fixed now and she's happy and everything's Gucci. Everything's good. But, um, at the same time, I don't know. I just, like... You know, I, I do like that portrayal of it, but I guess just the fact that she mentioned it was like a roller coaster after being like, I'm good now, guys, kind of makes it a little, a little, a little foreboding. And this is good enough, thanks. It would have so been fun if we played together more. I'd love to, but I'm not feeling well. <laughs> That's why you usually have to exercise. Oh, look at me, I'm still lively. I guess so. Once the sports events are over, I will. Right now, it's just too much with only the sports competition. Well, can't help it now, but if you ever if you think about it later, let's do it together anytime. I'll leave you alone then. Huh? Um, what's wrong? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no! Shh, did you hear something? Oh fuck. Toshiro. Uh oh. This is the same hall. This is the same hall we found Mitch in. Oh god, I don't like what's about to happen. Those guys, um, what are they doing? This hall is so fucking cursed. What are we going to do, Mr. Koyasunaga? What's going on? Why are you suddenly... What's going on? It's already been confirmed after three consecutive days. This is a misfortune, is it? Nobody else is falling down. It's been three days. This is a record. Marvelous. That's because I'm weak. There's nothing wrong with having weak stamina. However, do you have to cause harm to others too, huh? You're kind of bringing me down, huh? Oh, shit! For crying out loud, you have to do something about it. Oh, man. Don't bully Mickey. He's already got trauma. Didn't you hear the announcements? Every time we run, we fall. Every time you swim, you drown. And every time you see flying balls, you close your eye. Okay, dodgeball. <laughs> I was like, the fuck? <laughs> it's pathetic when you watch everything for the gallery, isn't it? Aw, no, Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you're so depressed. You're so depressed, you're making me sad. Oh, Mickey. Uh -huh. oh, oh, that was bright. It makes me so sad. Thanks to your useless inaction, we've arrived at the last place for three days in a row. <laughs> no matter how hard I try, you know that even I am suffering because of you, don't you? Uh -huh. I don't mind a guy like you, with such physical strength and athleticism, but it's a different story if it gives me trouble. You're just a pest, a trash person, who is determined to not help in any way, and only does damage to others. I'm, I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> I know, buddy. I know. Did you th really think I was arguing whether you were doing this on purpose or not? I know you just suck naturally. That's not the point. I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm in a difficult situation right now because of various factors you know. It's getting closer, but now it's really difficult beyond this. Ah, oh, seriously, I don't have any luck after all. I was paired up with a guy like you. Stop. Stop. Let's get this straight from get-go, shall we? I'm begging you. Hold it, what do you think you're doing? Yes, Toshiro, get him! Fuck him up. Oh, hell yeah. I asked what the hell do you think you're doing to him? Oh. Me and my mullet have better places to be. Hey, did he just leave? Pull out his mullet one strand of hair at a time. What in the world is happening? Stop. Stop. It's okay, Mickey. I feel so bad for him. It's okay. You're a little crazy, okay? I forgive you, okay? Hey, are you okay? Or probably crazy. Well, I guess it's in the pet chan thing. I'm not doing this on purpose. Why does he have to be? Why does it have to be only me? Why? Only me? I know, buddy. It's okay. Calm down. It hurts. It hurts so much. I guess, yeah, it does make sense. Like, all of Rio's personal business keeps getting exposed just because, like, uh, Mickey's his partner and he can't, you know, do well at it. Oh, this definitely is paralleling, like, the, uh, 
the second chapter of um, Trigger Happy Havoc 2 with like Jiro wanting to get stronger. I assume Mickey might, you know, have like an arc like that too where he starts to want to get stronger. Hopefully he ends up better off than Chihiro, but probably not. <laughs> probably not. He's in really bad shape. I'll have to accompany Mickey Hiko in his room to his room first. I'll borrow your handbook for a moment. Oh, I do stuffed animals. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love you, Mickey. How long are we gonna keep this silence? After returning to his room, Mickey's expression somehow improves. But since then, he's been staying in this condition. No matter what I say, there's no response. This is just frustrating. Hey, Mickey. Oh, look at him. Go on. Hey, look at Mr. Teddy Bear. <laughs> Mr. Teddy Bear doesn't want you to be sad anymore, Mickey. <laughs> I know it's looking like a, a stuffed animal start talking to him through it. Anything is good. It would be nice to have something to talk about. Is there any suitable topic in this room? Oh, yeah. Oh, literally? <laughs> Come on, let's get the stuffed animals. I can't click on these? Come on. There's a lot of dolls in Mickey's room. Is it because he's a puppeteer? Maybe we can have a chat about dolls. Yeah. Uh. Come to think of it, there are a lot of dolls here. I'm glad you have a lot of friends for Petty, right? <laughs> he looks so sad, dude. I can't. I feel so bad for Mickey. I can relate, too, because, like, man, I had such a hard time in PE growing up. Like, I always got picked last, like, uh, for sports and, like never got involved in it or like I don't know people would like kind of exclude me out of it purposely because I was like so weak so it's like man I get you I feel you. you don't deserve that you don't deserve that bro you're better than that was this a failure too they're not really my dolls they've been here since the beginning uh, so they were originally here huh but they all look alike it's hard to tell them apart Benny can be different you don't have to worry about it if that's the case, I'm glad then. I somehow managed to talk, but the conversation was cut off, and the situation became awkward again. But was it any better than the complete silence as before? Oh no. I just want to hug him. How long are you gonna, how long are you going to be here? I kinda wanna give him the sleigh pass. You have the sleigh pass if you kill Rio. <laughs> okay? It's if you kill him, I won't I won't feel bad. I won't be upset. Oh, thank you. Lucky Cat 2703 Luna. Mickey equals Mickey Mouse. How dare you? How dare you say that about my boy Mickey? <laughs> my perfect. How dare you compare him to that mouse? To the freaking Mickey Mouse. To Satan himself. Eh? My boy Mickey Hiko is way better. He deserves better than that. I'm just messing with you. Thank you for the dono. I want to be alone and find out. No, you're not. You still don't look so well. It's fine. It's not like that at all. But please, don't worry about me. Please, just leave me alone. Uh, I'm sorry, Kazuki. No, it's okay. I apologize. Uh, man, if anything happens, come to me anytime. We can talk together. Rest well. Oh, I can understand though. Sometimes you just want to be alone too. Sigh. Let's return to my room. I feel like he's gonna die or kill somebody. I guess we'll see. I feel like he might die though. Yay! More secrets! School announcement! 10 o'clock night time! Ugh. Poor Mickey, dude. I feel so bad for him. Thank you, Dangan. Mitchy Mouse. <laughs> the only thing worse than Mickey and or Mitch <laughs> is dumb. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. Oh, Masako and Mai won this time. Interesting. The penalties apply to the team with the lowest ranking. Rio was once scanned by a colleague as an interpreter. Mickey Hiko Kosanaga has been seen naked in front of girls his age. Oh, man. Is this some, like, kind of Mekon bullying torture thing? His sisters do that? Well, then have a good night! His sisters seem fucked up. Until the nighttime... Oh, until the nighttime announcement finished, I was lying in bed, staring blankly at the ceiling. Not to mention, it feels like the contents of the past that come out as a penalty are getting more and more merciless. Mickey, will he be okay? 
It came out, and he was okay with it, but it also looked like a bad memory. And he also has a frail mind, and even had a fight with Rio. Man, I wonder if there was anything I could do, but in the end, I came to the conclusion that there's nothing I can do. In the end, it didn't even matter. Perhaps I can't think of a way because I'm worried that a relationship might get worse if I intervene. I hope we can reconcile quickly. I tried to forget my discomfort and close my eyes. He's so dead. Hoping to escape here tomorrow. Oh no, Mickey! Oh, Mickey, you so dead. You so dead, gonna find you dead in your bed. Hey, Mickey, hey, 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 Mickey. Uh, somebody say Mickey! 7 a.m., woo, wake up! Wake up! Um, what should I do today? Would it be better to go to the diner and check attendance? I wonder if I should search for monocoins. Oh, Mickey, you so dead. You so dead. <laughs> Gonna get shot in the head. Hey, Mickey. Hey, 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 Mickey. Hey. Kazuki, good morning. Good morning, Misako. How are the black coins? Nothing to note. Yesterday's black coin was brought by Mickey Hiko. So it was Mickey Hiko's turn. Hey, Misako. Mickey Hiko, how did he look? Mickey Hiko, um, I oh, thank you, Crispy, for becoming a sodanist. Oh, welcome. Um, just plain? It's my guess. Why? What happened? No, nothing happened. I was just wondering. Really? Um. Oh, Misako, did you hear anything about gold coins from the others? Whether to use it or not? What became of it? We used to collect and manage the black coins in the diner, but since the gold coins were left unattended, there was no way to know who received them and what they picked up. Unless the person who picked them told us. I could definitely see somebody getting other people's, like, secrets and then telling other people about it, you know what I mean? It was difficult to write while watching the stream, but I managed to do it. The Maybe B-Day short story has been posted to the subreddit. Enjoy! Oh god, I'll have to check that out later. Thank you so much, typical fangirl. Appreciate ya. At the most, only notes with the shameful past have been pulled out. Not to mention the escape switch we've been looking for. As expected, I see. I expected this outcome, but hearing it in person made me feel weak. By the way, Misako's team, you were first place yesterday. Who received the gold coin, my or you? I got it, I haven't tried it yet. I can't move because I have to protect the black coin, so when Mai comes to the diner after a while, I'll hand over the coin and have her draw it. Let's hope the escape button is pulled this time, right? That's right, ugh, sigh. Anxiety and tiredness was evident on Misako's expression, as she sighed while saying that. If only I could be of some help. Man, I wish I would have started the stream earlier. I didn't realize that, uh, despair time was, uh, at 7. Today's morning game is scheduled for Batman. There is still time left till the athletic competition, so I'll go around and search if- <laughs> You're just gonna sleep. Dude, how many free time events are in this one? I feel like I literally could have maybe finished somebody. Sigh. I think we are really close to a BDA, so I think I should probably play until then. I guess we'll see. Should I just... I guess I could save the BDA for the next stream if y'all want to watch it live. Y'all can just let me know in the chat. Because I think... I know, like, the spare times are, like, a really uh, intense... Or, I don't know, they're like the trial, I think, for it. So I figure a lot of people might want to go there. I'm not bothered, but you're really close to the BDA, Weeby. Okay. I guess y'all can just let me know. If y'all want me to stop here or wait till the BDA. Really close, like 30 minutes. Okay, interesting. I'm so tired. I feel like I just want to go to bed right now. But that would be troublesome. There's one game left. <coughs> yeah! Oh, shit. Uh. Huh. That's like the Sayaka pose, isn't it? Ow. Why, I'm sorry, Kazuki. Are you hurt? I'm okay. It was a minor fall. Are you okay? As you can see, I'm booming. As Kana said, there was a smile in the corner of Kana's lips. Oh, wait. Let me uh, do this. Okay, it seems like most people want me to keep going. Did something good happen? It... Did something happen? Uh, why do you ask? She does look happy. What's that book she has? Oh, swimming lessons. No, I just felt you were excited about something. Maybe she's gonna help Mickey with swimming lessons? Since I feel like it might be trying to parallel, like the Jiro thing. <laughs> Did I look like that? Well, it's no big deal. I'm just glad that I can be of some help to someone, you know? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, she totally is doing that. 
And that's a girl's secret. Actually, not just a girl's secret. <gasps> Peanut! What's up, little man? Oh my goodness, come say hi to the stream. Come say hi. Can come visit me or not? You've been hiding all day, Peanut. I missed you. But hide under the bed. You have a good nap? <laughs> Peanut just came in, as I'm sure you can tell. Oh, you can kind of see him a little bit too. Wish up, little man. Wish up. And then let's go to lunch. Eat, 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 eat. I'm not sure what's going on, but since she's happy, I suppose it'll be okay. There's a bit of time left until the afternoon. I'll have to finish the investigation I was doing this morning. How much free time is there to this chapter? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Can you believe this, Peanut? Can you believe how much free time there is? He said he cannot believe it. You want to skip? <laughs> dude, I really could have gotten another, another ability. I just didn't think I had that much longer. Hello, it's school announcement! 10 p.m. Falling message! Tori Toshiro! <laughs> Seventh place, Mickey! Ah. The penalty would be applied to the team with the lowest ranking according to the rules! <laughs> Ryoko Mori has a total brother complex to the point that he is very loyal to his older brother. Oh. Mikihiko Koyasunaga's nickname in middle school was Petty. Uh-oh. Huh. Is Petty, like, his separate personality or something that he's, like, putting on there? I don't know, man. That's weird. That's a little weird. Why'd he name his pet, his little doll, after his, uh, I don't know, his nickname? I feel like there's something. I always knew Petty was creepy, but I don't know, man. It's okay, Mickey. I still love you. Rio has a brother complex and wasn't petty the name of mickey hiko's doll this is too much revealing the past is getting out of hand to the point that could be that it could be considered dangerous i don't even want to imagine how the positions of these two will be the gold coin that misaka received seemed to be in vain this time as well and about the sports competition mentally and physically it's making us lose strength at a very quick rate how long can we survive in this situation Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, man. Yeah, Mickey is getting a lot of screen time. I think he's so dead, honestly. I kind of got more killer vibes from him, but now I'm starting to think he really is going to be a victim. When I woke up, I felt ache all over my body. Is it because I moved too much yesterday? I could see, like, if he dies, everybody's going to, like, everybody's going to, of course, suspect Rio of doing it. But it probably would be somebody else. This is a morning that even I don't want to move. Um, at this point, Monica will tell if it's Mickey. <laughs> tell if it's tell us if Mickey was the mastermind or not. I'm dead. Wait, what? What's this? Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I'm going to. Um. Who the hell is it? What kind of person knocks on someone's door like that? Hey, Kazuki, were you the one? Tore? What the? Eh, what are you doing? Hold it right there! Oh shit, somebody used a black coin, didn't they? After turning all my pockets upside down, Tore started looking around my room. It's not this guy. What in the world is going on? What in the world is going on? Starting with this morning greeting. It's an emergency. Somebody totally took the black coin. Emergency? I don't know what you mean. All the black coin. All of them? Girl, all of them? All the black coins are completely gone. Miss Saka, what were you doing? Were you doing anything, girl? Every last one kept in the diner. The coins are gone, all of them? Yeah, so hurry up and help me find them. Okay. Oh, shit. As soon as I understood the situation, my mind cleared. All those dangerous black coins were gone. What's happening? Oh, my God. I ran to the diner, looked at the hollow bowl. As Tori said, all the black coins... We accumulated, had disappeared. Okay, so Mai's here, Ryo, Misako, um, Chinami, and Toshiro, Tore. What happened? All the coins are gone. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. What do you mean? Oh, was that a new hairdo too? This happened because I accidentally overslept. If I had been a little more alert, this wouldn't have happened. Okay, so that's what happened. Come to think of it, I've hardly seen Mika Misako taking a proper rest these days. He didn't mention she looked really tired too. I'm really sorry. Oh, Mickey's not here. 
Fuck you, Ryo. I know you did this. I know you did this. Is it not Misako's... Is it not Misako's fault? If a person is tired, it can't be helped. Yeah, it looks like nothing has happened yet. Let's find them before anything else does happen. I feel like they should have, like, switched shifts or something to help her sleep. By the way, there are some people who haven't seen the situation yet. Some of the girls who haven't come yet were sent in teams of two to find the black coins. And Yukari asked me to wake up the others who were still sleeping. Oh, you guys, this is a big deal! Yukari? Hey, you just arrived. How are the others? That's not important! Huh? Kana! Oh, shit! I was, what, I was like, Kana's not here either. I feel like it's either Mickey or Kana. Honestly, they're gonna die this chapter. Uh, she's gone! Huh? Really? It hasn't happened yet, has it? I wish I could see the scene, but even when I woke up, the others, there was no response in her room. No matter how much she slept, it's weird not to wake up after hitting the door, knocking and to keep ringing the bell, right? So I'm looking for her, assuming she's not in her room. Oh god, she's gonna be like dead in the pool or something. Missing black coins and Kana is missing too. Just looking at these two points, it's giving a glimpse of how ominous things are becoming. First, my beliefs it's urgent we find Kana rather than the black coins. I concur. She did do the Sayaka pose, dude. Ah! I had a feeling it was like, that kind of, I feel like that might curse her. Let's scatter, it'll be much easier to find them that way. It was urgent on both accounts, but she was much more urgent than the coins that were not dangerous by themselves. Please, I don't want anything to happen to them. The moment I prayed and was about to find Kata. <laughs> you know what time it is, baby! Oh, oh school announcement, school announcement! Oh, yeah, I was like, he already did the morning one. A body has been discovered! Oh my god, I'm so excited! After a period of investigation, a class trial will begin! Oh shit. Oh no. It definitely is one of them, dude. I don't know, maybe it is Mickey? Oh, uh, it's one of- uh, I feel like it's in the pool area too. There's that like secret room in the library we haven't um, gone to yet. I feel like that could also- That could also, I don't know, possibly be related to the murder somehow? I guess we'll see. Body. What? Why is it now? Don't tell me. An ominous feeling begins to surround us. A body discovery announcement in a situation where Kana's whereabouts are unknown. It's like... No, it can't be! Oh, shit. Ah! Oh. Okay, so you're good. <laughs> Murder again. I'm not surprised. I'm kind of excited, actually. I think it's great. I think it's kind of a slay. <laughs> kind of a slay moment. There's nobody in the classrooms. Uh... <laughs> That's kind of stressful to actually have to like explore. I feel like it is the pool since they were training there though. Shinami, did you find something? There is nothing in the AV room. What about you, Kazuki? I'm still looking. <sighs> All right. Oh man. Oh, we're so fucked. Just by looking at her. I could tell she was very, oh, just by looking at her, I could tell she was very tired. Everything, it's everything, it's all my fault. No, girl. Sako is not to blame for this. It's all Monokuma's fault for making this happen. Ugh. I'll go look for the others. Ah! Oh, man. I'm so scared! Oh, hey, Tato, you're in here. I don't think it's here either. Maybe on the second floor? Huh. I wonder if... Is there anybody... Uh, okay, Tato's good. Florida man has been spotted. <laughs> so we're good on that front. It's definitely Maggie. Kana, though. Definitely, 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 definitely. Okay, okay. Or a Karu! We haven't seen a Karu yet! No, she's just a ninja, guys. She's just a ninja. That's the only reason we haven't seen her yet. Hey, Kazuki, did you find anything? No, not yet. What about you, Toshiro? There's no one in the gym. What on earth is happening? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's not Ryo. We just saw him. <laughs> Please, Ryo, be... T oh, God. Okay. Oh! oh. <gasps> Mickey! Oh, Mickey, you're alive! You're alive, Mickey! Yay! Hey, Mickey! Hey, 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 Mickey! Yes! Kanjiro, Mickey Hiko! Mr. Watanabe. Uh, that probably does mean it's Kana, then. Did you hear the announcement? A body was found! We've already found it. What? Mr. Koyasunaga and myself were the ones that found it. Ah, uh, who is dead? Please inter- I don't want to spoil the BDA, okay? Oh, Jesus. I can't even talk to them! 
<laughs> Stop looking. I want to be delusional. Honestly, that's so real. You're honestly really real for that. A faint silhouette of someone is looming over the pool. It's totally Kana. With every step I take towards it, my heart becomes heavier. And I, once again, faced despair. Oh. The ankles? Oh, it is her. I had a feeling, honestly. Jesus Christ, they scratched the shit out of her, didn't they? Wait, two people found it. Yeah, wait, we only know two people who actually discovered the body. Huh. Damn, dude, they really messed her up. That's so, that is so wrong, dude. That is so wrong. So wrong. Man, poor Kana. Ugh. I don't know. I felt I felt like it was definitely gonna be her or um Yuki at this point. Like it just really seemed like it had to be, but Man, that sucks. I like Kana. And she had finally just gotten like some redemption, you know what I mean? Damn. Damn. Who could have been the third? Akiro could have been the third? Maybe. Maybe? Who was the strongest among us? If it was me not long ago to this if it was me not long ago to this question, the strongest among us is Kana Ise. I would have answered without hesitation. The death of a friend we've been working with, and the person who killed that friend we cherish the most. Seeing a friend die before our eyes, we despaired. But Kana, she overcame that despair and eventually regained her own hope. I feel like it was Mickey who killed her, maybe. I guess we'll see. From that I mean, they were, like, literally doing lessons together. I mean, it might not be, but uh, I don't know. From that figure, I also felt their hope. Dude, that fucking broadcast from the first chapter is... <laughs> Everybody who, like, worked on that broadcast died. Like, almost immediately afterwards, you had uh, Yosaku, Sina, and now Kana. All in a row. What is up with that broadcast? Monokuma was just like... Hey, I'm the only one allowed to do a broadcast here. I'm going to jinx you from that figure. I also felt their hope, and I thought a few of us were feeling like that as well. But uh, why? A friend who showed us hope. A friend who showed us a bright smile. They can't anymore. They can't smile anymore. Isn't he too obvious? Yeah, I know. I guess so. But, like, that's definitely going to play a big part into this trial, you know? Yeah, it probably is too too obvious for it to be Mickey, but I don't know. There's definitely something weird going on there. When my mind returns, I was collapsed as I sat my on my knees on the floor. My knees started to throb as I regained consciousness, as if I had fallen and lost strength in my legs. What does it mean? I was engulfed in emotions, rising from the depths of my heart, and slammed my fist on the floor. A tingling sensation ran from my fist, but I didn't care about it. Kana, she can't feel pain anymore. Damn it! Oh, God. Kana! Is this a- this is a lie, right? Masako Yukari! Kazuki, is this a joke? All this is a bad joke, isn't it? Uh... Say something, huh? No, wait. That's right, there's gotta be a hidden camera. Uh... Well, you're not saying anything, why? Uh-huh. Hey, it's here. There's ah. So all these people are acting like they have not seen the body yet. So far, I guess we'll see if anybody else mentions it, but we'll see. We'll see. I do feel like it's weird that yeah, we only saw two of the people that saw the body. Screams from the others who find Kana's body echo throughout the pool, but even those noises, which were obviously loud, now felt vague, as if they were coming from far distance. Right now, there is only one thing I can feel clearly. That is, are you in despair? <laughs> yes, Monokuma. Oh, well, that's quite the desperate expression. Better than I imagined, indeed. I would say that I'm really satisfied. Why are you here? Oh, if an incident has happened, I have something to give you. So I came here for that. Still, I'm glad I arrived quickly because I could see Mr. Watanabe's desperate expression. Oh, what a dork. That bear, now he's deliberately approached provoking us? Don't listen to that, Mr. Watanabe. All right, all right. I'll just be hated if I continue this because I'm a very sinful bear after all. But still, I do have something to give you. Now, come and take it, everybody. The fact that you're giving this away, 
That's right! There is once more a culprit lurking among you! Among us. There is once more a culprit in our group. Who would do such a horrible thing? Are they really next to me? The victim this time is Miss Issei, which is also a shame. Oh, but don't be too sad in the end. I'm sure she was very lucky to give you despair too. What? What? What did that thing just say? Kana, she's lucky to be able to give us despair. The fuck is he talking about? Shut up. Kazuki, is he saying she would be happy that she gave them despair from her death? I mean, she didn't seem like that type of person. I guess he might just be a dick, but you know. What am I talking about? What am I doing now? Before my head makes a rational judgment, my body was already engulfed in anger and was moving at will. Don't you dare talk about Kana like that! Oh shit! I'll kill you! Oh fuck, Kazuki! I was gonna beat the bear's damn face and mess it up so he won't speak anymore. Calm down, you idiot. Oh my god, you're about to get killed, bro! Ugh. Oh, you're awake. Tore? You okay? I had to hit you, hit you controlling my force. Well, you passed out for about a minute. Oh. Moreover, isn't this the men's... Moreover, isn't this the men's locker room? Monokuma lifted the band. It's okay to freely roam on both rooms during the investigation. Really? Oh, yeah, I was like that in the other game, too. Judging from your reaction, it seems you returned to normal. I was a bit surprised you rushed at Monokuma all the way. Should I call it gutsy or reckless? Uh, sorry. You don't have to apologize. I was the one who knocked you out before beating him. So I'm the one responsible for this. But that said, take this. The others, the others took one. Everyone is searching now. The investigation. At those words, it came back to my mind. The image of Kana who was murdered. I'm going to investigate as well. If you've come to your sense, come quickly and help too. Tore, are you okay? I'm okay. How can I be? What, it's such a girl. She was just a girl who was just trying to become strong. Okay, interesting. Kind of the way it parallels. So Kana was trying to become strong mentally, and then uh, Mickey was trying to become strong physically. So it is kind of paralleling Trigger Happy Havoc a bit with that. I will never forgive them. The culprit must be caught with my own hands at any cost. <laughs> See ya, Clover. Thanks for stopping by. Just as Torre said, Kana was just getting her hope back to end up being killed so, mercil so mercilessly like that. I can't forgive that. I have to investigate. I will thoroughly investigate and find out who the culprit is. For everyone. And for Kana as well. First, let's investigate the place of the incident, the swimming pool. The clues are sure to appear here. Would you like some exclamation? Eh, eh, whatever. Actually, should I be doing this anymore since it messed up last time? Investigation, start! Okay, we'll probably end it here since um, I'm sure a lot of y'all want to watch Despair Time, even though it's already started. And I see a lot of people are getting ready for dinner and stuff too. I do feel like Friday is kind of a bad day for streams. <laughs> I mean, like, this was honestly the only day I could do it this weekend, so like... It was just kind of the only thing I really had, but I kind of noticed that when I did uh, Friday streams before, it seemed like um, most people were kind of busy on Fridays. A lot of people would just watch the VODs, it seemed like. But uh, anyways, thanks guys for coming to the stream. It was really sad that Kana died. I, yeah, I don't know, I kind of feel bad. I just like Mickey so much. I'm kind of glad it wasn't him because I knew it had to be either one of them, but we'll see. I feel like Rio and Mickey are the most suspicious, but also, I could see that being like too obvious, you know, at this point. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see after we investigate some. But yeah, we'll do the investigation and the trial, and that'll actually be it for the series, um, sadly. But um, yeah, thanks guys for stopping by the stream. Thank you for all the wonderful donations and gifts and all the really sweet fan art for my birthday. You guys are so nice. I really appreciate you all so, so much. But uh, yeah, bye guys. I will see you next time. Bye.